Good evening, guys, and welcome back to the FPL Juice Show, your place to come for the latest squeeze of all the juicy bits from Euro 2024 Fantasy. My name's Ash. Coming up on tonight's show, we'll be covering all things England, from the recent friendlies to the squad announcement, the numbers, and, of course, our preferred starting at Levens for the Free Lions. We'll also be discussing the Euro Fantasy game, including how to play, what's different from FPL, and, of course, discussing chip strategy. We'll also be doing a little rate or slate of your Euros teams. Uh, and if we slate your team, just don't take it personal, all right? It's for your own good. Uh, we'll also be looking at our Euro teams that we've uh, come up with, with only a few more days to go until the big tournament kicks off. But before all that, I must welcome to the show a man who has already matched Nick for juice appearances this summer with two. He's also the undisputed Number one interviewer of random members of the public uh, talking about FPL is, of course, Alf. Alf, Hello. how's it going, mate? Oh, Hello, Ash. How are you, my friend? I'm great. I'm great. I had a chicken katsu m and sandwich about 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Superb. Special edition. Yeah? Special. Yeah. Powered up now, yeah? I'm, gr I'm feeling sandwich. great. Yeah. You're feeling good? <laughs> I'm feeling you know great. What? I've actually, that's the second time I've heard about it. Not that sandwich, but yeah. a friend of mine. Shout out, Matt. He had a katsu wrap from Sainsbury's Yeah, today. katsu's everywhere. It's like a whole thing at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a big stuff. fan of a katsu. Love a katsu. Yeah. Katsu it's just curry. curry sauce, basically. That's yeah. all it is with some like crispy stuff. Yeah. It's not like, super. it's not super special or anything. It's just, it's not. It's just a bit different, I'm, I suppose, I, from like ham and cheese. Right. I mean, I like sandwiches generally, yeah. but that was a good sandwich. All right. What's, yeah. what, I, don't, I think we might have covered this before. What's your meal deal? What's My your, meal deal? What's your ideal meal deal? So sandwich, So I would go like, snack, and drink. I would go, that's a great question. <laughs> and that, that is something I would need to, I mean, I can definitely answer that on the fly, yeah. but it might change, right? Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, so Initial. Um, initially, Initial I'm reaction. just thinking ham and mustard, right? Ham and mustard. Just okay. came into my, my okay. brain, I'm going that's with fine. it. Ham and mustard. My missus likes ham and mustard. Yeah, that's not a bit of me. Crisp. That's dead. Crisps? Yeah. Cri <laughs> Cri we're going to talk, talk about crisps. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. We're going to get there. We're going to talk about crisps. Yeah, uh, Doritos get... cool. Cool original. Doritos cool. Oh, yeah, okay. easily. Like just a ridiculous crisp. Yeah. Um, and then drink. Doritos so I don't cool. really, you know what? I don't really like sort of like soda and stuff mm, or like not canned fizzy. drinks. No, so I might just go for like a Pellegrino. Like Pel sparkling. San Pellegrino? <laughs> yeah, so it's fucking well, water. A little, little lemonade vibes. No, just, no, just oh, the water. Oh, the water? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Terrible. Yeah. That, I mean, it's a bit fancy, isn't it? But that like, is uh, that is an awful meal deal, bro. I can't what lie. You yeah. you what was your, what was your meal deal? Mine slapping <laughs> everyone, on, bro. Are you all right? I've already recently discovered this one from Sainsbury's. Yes, I do shop at Sainsbury's. Tell me. Uh, it is the, what? Oh, okay. Uh, it, <laughs> it is the brie and bacon chutney. Okay. On brown, bre brown bread from Sainsbury's. Yeah, that sounds good. The brie, bacon, and chutney. That's quite a lot. Unbelievable. Yeah. It is, oh my gosh, it's, is that, it's banging. Is that a weekday lunchtime sandwich though? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It Rude is. boy. <laughs> if you don't get there fast enough, they're gone. <laughs> they're gone. Yeah, they're like crack. They are <laughs> like unbelievable. Yeah. And then to get to go with that, I'm on the fruit vibes. You're going with the fruit packet? Fruit, yeah. I go for a little fr <laughs> little tub of fruit. <laughs> what? what do you mean? Why are you laughing for? I love right? it, man. But uh, it's healthy, isn't it? So you're going, you're balance going, it out. No, you're going fruit over some crisps. Yeah, I, crisps. Don't, like, I don't like crisps. You don't like crisps? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm not a big fan of crisps. Yeah. Yeah. If I like my missus, we have this regularly have this conversation about crisps and she, cause she loves crisps. She loves Pringles and all these and discos and the, I just don't like them. I, I, not like I don't like, I could eat them, but I just, they're not my go-to. Yeah. So if there's a choice between crisps or chocolate or fruit, you might as well do Chris some fruit. Is, is, is bottom. Yeah. Do some fiber. Yeah, mate. So I'm getting like, the, I'm getting the mango pineapple fruit box. Yeah. Sounds good. And, and then drink. drinks just the water. A water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, a, kind of just a still water. If, if, I, if I'm not on a health kick, I'm going Lucas Aid Orange Fizzy. What about a Pellegrino? What? Over a what? Highland oh, Spring. Oh, yeah. Highland Spring all day. Would you really? Yeah. I love that. They're not sponsoring us. Very different Promise. meal deals. Yeah. You know? We're two different, two different characters yeah. here, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> so you're going to have a little think about that and then maybe. I will. I might come back <clears> to it. Yeah. I mean, I used to love Fanta, <coughs> for example. You know, Fanta's pretty good. Do you know what? I was just, I was just saying this to my missus actually on the phone. What's happened to Fanta Fruit Twist? Never, I haven't tried I, that. What? Never tried that. Rev. I don't know what they've done, but I had a Fanta Fruit Twist the other day. And I, I remember when I was a kid, 
Was it ridiculous? It was the most bangingest oh, banging okay. of bang bang drinks ever. They, they've lost it. It's different. Not good. It's gone right downhill. It's like they've diluted it with water. Some probably some San Pellegrino <laughs> in there. Yeah. I don't know, but it's yeah. Uh, uh, it's gone right downhill. Yeah. I don't know if anyone in the chat has uh, had a Fanta fruit twist recently and had the differences. The difference <laughs> twenty years makes. Yeah, I tell you, that's it. Oh, uh, so crisps then? We're talking about crisps. Yeah, yeah. Let me just sh say hello to the chat first. Can you? Yeah, would yeah. you mind just collapsing the? Uh, yeah, let's do the that. Poll for me. How's that? Uh, shout out to the chat and everyone watching at home. Mike Halpin says yes. Ash, bell, 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 bell. How's it going, Mike? FPL onions. Bree, you've changed. Don't get that in Londis Luton. You don't get that in Londis Luton because. They all got stolen. <laughs> There's none left. Uh, F your discomfort. Is anyone else's meal deal driven by what's the most expensive I can get for the same price? Yeah, does value come into it? I think value does come into it in a meal deal. You, yeah. you want to get the most for your money, innit? You want to, you do. For sure, so. for sure. Uh, fruit's easier to shoplift. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, I, I wouldn't know that. <clears throat> I go for protein, chicken and bacon sandwich, protein, 20 grams, shake and 25 grams, protein, yogurt. It's a good shout. Onions is on the bulk. Uh, Mark J, getting the most expensive items because you're abusing the meal deal. Yeah, only with the only with the sandwich though, but it does bang. Like if anyone else has had that sandwich, just let me know because it's, it's unreal. Uh, it's Alf's shirt and- Homage. Homage. I was going to say homage. Omar, I like uh, either works. But Nick corrected me once and it stuck with me. And she's sticking with homage. homage. Oh, yeah, but because I like I know, it. yeah, homage. You give uh, me that homage. Yeah. yeah, homage. 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 To Scotland. Um, sure, I'm going full. <laughs> I mean, not really, but now that you mentioned it, I'm, I'm going to say mm. yes. FPL veteran, um, hundred percent. I hope Scotland do well. I've got no beef with Scotland. You know, mm. I know Scotland got no, beef no with way. us. I couldn't Scotland care less. got beef with us. I got no beef with Scotland. I want them to do well. So do I. I'm going to be supporting them this, this tournament. I hope Scotland do well. I do. I think they will do quite well. I, I admire Scotland. I admire their patriotism. Yeah, Is that I agree. Word? I agree. I think they're way better than the English. Mm. Like there was the friendly the other night, and I think the was it the national anthem they were singing, and then the music cut off. Yeah, and then all the fans just carried on singing. Yeah, it was love like that. love that. Yeah, yeah, they get it. Yes, they really get it. Give me some of that. Yeah. So yeah, I hope Scotland do well. I do. Uh, you Banging know this team. Scott, Scott Banging team. McGinn. What McSauce. Yeah, the McSauce. Scott yeah. McSauce, yeah. doing uh, major Andy, bits. Andy Robertson. I think we're talking about Scotland a little bit today, aren't we? So maybe. I mean, we might do. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. We've got veteran in the chat, so he won't let us forget it. Don't worry. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know this guy is voting Rishi. Who? Me? Or you, are you voting Rishi? <laughs> I'm not. Are we, are we allowed to talk about hey. that? Listen. Oh, shit. We're demonetized again. No. There goes our four pence. Stop, stop talking about it. All right. Stop, 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 stop. Ash is a Tory. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Conservatory. That's I'm getting I'm. rinsed. I'm getting rinsed. I'm getting called a Tory. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis Bonilla, what's up, Logan Roy, aka Alf, one of your regulars tuning in from Haywood, California, yeah, US of A. Lewis is my boy. Yeah? Yes, Lewis. Good to see you, man. 10.06 AM. Hello to the Juice team as well. Great show, mate. Keep the great work. Let me get a shout out, please. Shout out to Lewis Bonilla. Yeah, Lewis is the man. Does he watch you know, all your content? Yeah, he does. You know what? All of these guys who are international, mm. like hat off to them mm. for like getting up at 3 a.m. and doing FPL deadlines. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like it's tough for them. Lewis right? is a really engaged manager and he's mm. like up at silly o'clock. Yeah. He's got a job and stuff. Like what a legend. Yeah. Love that. I respect it. This is how important people take FPL. Uh, agreed, yeah. Got to be done. What a game. Uh, animations, evening, mate. Uh, who else have we got here? Bruno, how's it going, Bruno? Uh, please, guys, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are on the race to 10K subs. We'd like to get there before the start of the season. That'd be good, 10K. If you're listening on, for the four people that do listen on audio, do leave us a five-star review on the old Spotify. And if you're watching us on X, come over, come over to YouTube. You can get involved in the chat. You can like, you can subscribe exactly. to us. You know what I mean? chat. This Super is where the chat. action is. Uh, Lewis says, thanks so much. You're welcome, mate. No problem. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, do lend your support to the channel by, by copying the uh, juice check mark, the coveted juice check mark. Only 99p a month. You'll be supporting the channel um, and you'll be let know of any upcoming content like the tangent series. The last one was Nick and Yelena and Az. When is that dropping, Jimmy? The latest tangent? Was it that bad? <laughs> you don't know? Oh, okay. <clears throat> was it sketchy? In what way? What? Who? It, it basically it got a bit weird. Don't lie. 
No, look, tune in and watch it <laughs> and, and, and let me know. It got a bit weird. Wait, is your mic on? Yeah. What? Oh, wait. Uh, okay. So, uh, <laughs> okay. So that tangent got a bit weird, apparently. So make sure you're a member so that you catch that first. I'm really keen to see what was said in that tangent now, episode now. I gotta and, uh, be honest, it was a bit uncomfortable, actually. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can you give us a clue as can, to yeah, why? Yeah, can we get like a can little, get a little clip? clue? Yeah. Can you tell us like just basically one, one sentence? There were there were Nick asked a couple of questions. Yeah. One of them said one and the other said the other at the same <clears throat> time. Oh. And it caused a bit of a was it like a, how much do you love each other? And one said 10 and the other said four. S sort of. Sort like of. That. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> like that. Was it like that? Was, yeah, it, okay. it, it, yeah, anyway. Uh, we, just le the less said about it, the, the better. If, the better. You, if okay, you really okay. want to watch it yourselves, yeah. feel free. Yeah, I'll watch it 100%. And I hope you guys watch it as well. Sounds spicy. Uh, do get involved in the show. Help me and Alf out. Any questions, comments, banter, of course, all welcome in the chat. Uh, we've currently got a poll running at the moment. Alf, do you want to just tell? Yeah, explain let's do what's that. going on with the poll. Yeah, I'm seeing FPL mate is in the in the chat. Thanks, which is great. Shout out to FPL Look mate. Dan, Dan's here. Um, yeah, so crisps. It's a it's a big one. So what I've been doing is I've been going onto the streets of London, and I basically ask people about FPL whether they play or not. <clears throat> if they play FPL, I then speak to them about FPL, what their experience is, are they playing next season, who they captain on the final day, all that good stuff. If they <laughs> don't play FPL, then I drop a random question on them. And my question of the week last week was, um, would you agree that the word crisps is three syllables? Um, I'm pretty passionate about it. I think it's three <laughs> syllables. I can see we're pretty split in the chat, to be fair. I mean, in the poll, 38%. Say hell yes. 62% say How is hell that split? No. Alf, at the risk of it's, being demonetized, you're a fucking sicko if yeah, you think it's right. three. <laughs> you're mental. Listen, 62% is not split. It's 2% off 40%. Let's just, let's just, it's 2%. You know what I mean? Let's call it for what it is. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's not split, but it's like, it's almost <laughs> split. Wait, can you just explain to me how the word crisps is three syllables? Well, Break say, it down. Say it for me. Crisps. Okay, and I'll like, say, but say, that's, that's me saying it properly. If I was saying it like how I normally say it, I'd say Chris. Okay, so yeah, yeah, fair, fair play. I appreciate like Chris, you, like you, Chris. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know I mean? So if you think about it, crisps. Yeah. Easily, it goes like it's a bit of a roller coaster. It starts here, <laughs> goes down, <laughs> yeah. goes back up. Crisps. Yeah. It's very obviously three syllables. No, but syllables is just a, the sound, right? In yeah. One go. Yeah. Chris Irvine's a psycho. Okay. Okay. Chris. Okay. So. Is two. So, okay, you're saying two, okay? Yeah. Okay, so apparently it's one, right? Yeah, but that's not right. Okay, so let, so let me According to who? Who says that it's free? Uh, Apart like from the you. Oxford Dictionary, AI, Oxford English Dictionary. language, nah, nah, nah. professors. Jimmy. Yeah, can you, yeah Oxford James, Dictionary you says it's one, yeah? It's one syllable, apparently. I mean, it's quite obviously at least two. I think it's you three. You just said it's three. I think it's three. It's, it's two. at least two. It's 100% it's two. It's just the, the sound. It's yeah. like It's like... If you think about know. the word man, right? Is it the word or beer? Bottle. Beer. Is two. Crisps. Yes. Is two. You think crisps is two? Crisps is two. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, 100%. What's the Oxford. Wait. Divide crisps into syllables. Divide crisps into syllables. That's Syl my sort of syllable, website. Syllable count. Here we go. How many syllables in crisps? One syllable. Exactly. It doesn't how make to sense. How to pronounce it. It doesn't make sense. Right, so you're saying three. That's saying one. one. Let's you're just compromise at two. two. Listen, I, I dig it. But uh, some of the answers I got when I asked these people, asked people yeah. I mean, it, I had a guy, if you, listen, my content's on my channel. If you want to check it out, I'm not here to plug my content. No, no, plug it. If you want to check it out, I will. please do. But there's a guy who gets outright aggy about this. Mm. Like he's almost upset that I've suggested that Crisps is three syllables. Was it Nick? Uh, I can't. I can't remember his. I can't remember his name. It wasn't Nick. No, but um, <laughs> it was a guy next with Market, and it was a very funny interaction. And uh, I love him. Here we go. So, is that, can everyone hear that? Yeah, here we go. So there's my intro. Um, if you go back, if you, if you go back, James. Welcome uh, to Alf. I'll, I'll direct you. Are dissected and dreams are built. My name is Alf. Yeah, this is just a, um, okay, do this guy here with the ginger hair and the white t-shirt. Fourth and one. Right, yeah, fourth one in. Would you agree the word crisps is three syllables? No. Thank you for your time. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, spell it out. Think about it. Crisps. Say it. Crisps. That's three syllables. Are you joking? <laughs> say, say the word crisp. Crisps. <laughs> that is three syllables, my you friend. Know what a is? Yes, of course I do. Crisps. You're saying three sounds. So three, three sounds is not a sound is not a syllable. But why isn't that? Why isn't it, what, quali what qualifies the right sound? Stumped. He's sound in a word, isn't it? No, it has to be like a different direction right, this, that you're going. This is short. It's so you're saying categorically it has to be a different direction. You have to be going in a different direction. So for instance, uh, it's like a scholar. Tom no. You're going in a different direction phonetically. You crisps. <laughs> crisps. <laughs> And then who we go there? The word crisp without the S on the end, that's two syllables. Yeah, so I think the word crisp which is two syllables. Would you agree? Boom. The word crisp. Crisp with no S. I think that's two crisp. syllables. Crisp. Yes. No, it's not. Crisp. Man. Oh, the word yeah. man is one syllable. Crisp. Yes. See what I'm, you see what I'm saying? You know? Crisp. You see yeah, what but I'm if saying? You, if, you're, if, you're, if you're pronouncing the P, too tough, then I understand. But if you're just crisp. saying Chris, crisp, crisp, <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, Chris, you're Chris. Chris. <laughs> but anyway, man, it's it's, anyway. great. it's it's good fun. Um, and like, <clears throat> I am always open to doing new questions. So if anyone wants to hit me up with some <clears throat> suggestions on some weird <clears throat> questions to ask people next time, mm. let me know. Uh, misunderstanding what a, by the way, shout out Banjo, how's it going, Dan? Misunderstanding what a syllable is, syllable three, Chris. <laughs> One is how you say it, you don't say cr is. You say it as one. Crisps. It's getting techy in here. A, yeah. we're, we're, we're dividing. We're dividing the crowd. Sunak and Starmer should debate Shut the Chris syllable. Oh shit! Yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> Munak and Marma should debate this. Bateman. What ledge? <clears throat> yes, this guy gets it. Syllables are on the vowel sounds only. Says Jamie Hayes. <laughs> Bruno, absolute waffle at the bottom. Waffle. <laughs> I was proper belly laughing when I was watching this. Cole. Um, yes, please. If you haven't already checked out Alf's channel. Go and subscribe to it now. What is the app for your channel, please? It's uh, at um, FPL underscore AlfPL. Someone's got AlfPL on Twitter. So I can't yeah, do AlfPL. I have to do FPL underscore AlfPL. Right, so it's AlfPL. FPL underscore AlfPL is my Twitter handle, yeah. Okay, FPL underscore AlfPL. That's it. Uh, I, I messaged <laughs> the guy. I'm like, I'm trying to get AlfPL, but, and he's just some random from like, I don't know where he is, but. Um, I will get it someday. You know? Is he going to hold you to ransom? Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm going to get gonna that. going to charge you a fee. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but seriously, though, amazing content. I love, Thank you. I love the interaction with the public. Obviously, you know, our Nick does a little bit of that, and hopefully we can get used yeah, to it together we'll do some collab, to yeah, do like sure. double teaming on the street. I'd I reckon it would be absolutely class. Yeah. So um, we're, tr we're actually doing some dates. I think yeah. sometime in August we're looking to do it. Yeah, so, hard, yeah. yeah mate, that's going to be some quality content. Yeah. Um, you're on 193 subscribers at the moment. Guys, let's help, let's get out to 200 subscribers. Yeah, please. that's true. Please that's do. only seven. There's how many watching tonight? Enough, that's actually, uh, 194 watching on the live. Is that right? On Twitter as well. On Twitter as well. Thank you, everyone, on Twitter. And, yeah, if uh, everyone wants to subscribe, get me to 200. I'm going to throw a party <clears> at 1,000 subscribers. So what sort of party? Just, I don't know. We'll figure something out. At your house? Maybe. Or like uh, you event. will figure it out. It'll be yeah. somewhere in London. A yeah. thousand subscribers is the next one. I'm looking forward to it, and we'll do something special. I'll just let you know now. I'm in. Nick's out. Shall I not invite Nick? There's no point. Okay. He's definitely doing something. Okay. <laughs> Even if he's not doing something now, he will be doing something. Now. Okay. Fair yeah. enough. Uh, yeah. Thank you, everyone. Please do help get Alf to 200 subscribers. It's at FPL underscore Alf. PL, love your content, mate. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Cheers, dudes. Let's uh, we, let's let's do let's talk let's talk some stuff. Let's do a little bit of the old Tuesday social. Oh, what happened to the thing? They're all getting used. Huh? You've got to bear in mind. That what? We're, we're halfway through now, so we're testing out new stuff. There's no intros. Yet. No intros. Not yet. No stings. New ones. Bruh. Done. New ones. This. Let me tell you, if you're not fixing up by, by episode one, yeah? Why have people not been saying everything looks Disciplinary. Sick. This all looks phenomenal. Why, I'm so who, who, likes, <laughs> who likes the new branding? Scumbag. I think it looks pretty cool. It's more simple with the like the white circle and the logo. It looks quite, quite good. I like, like your work, James. Uh, yeah, Tuesday social. So we're going to talk England yep. for the majority of this. Uh, I want to kick off. Where's the rest of them? Nah, there was more than that. Bruv. Right, don't matter anyway. Uh, 
let's talk about the friendlies. The most recent yeah, when friendlies. Yeah, where do we start, man? It was, I don't, you know, you, well, you go first. You go first. So, who was the first? The last one was Iceland. Yeah. Right? Who we should, on paper, be beating five or six nil. Yeah, and it was at Wembley at home. We lost one nil at home. Right before the Euros. And it's not like we carved out like really clean cut chances of, other than the Kane one that really springs to mind and maybe the Palmer one. Yeah. What it, what concerns me is the array of talent we have, yeah. yet we're struggling to beat the low blocks, yeah. which we're going to be coming up against in the group stages. Yeah. Netherlands beat them 4-0 last night. Did they? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here's here's like that's the concern, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, we know it's just the friendly, and you know, we, hopefully, they get to business when they need to get to business. Yeah. But the the alarm bells aren't aren't ringing, but they're on. They're on and they're ready to go. Yeah. In my opinion, what did you make of the performance? Yeah, I thought it was like watching Steve McLaren's England. Do you know what I mean? Ooh. Like. And, and that's hard because listen, it's so difficult. Like, I'm such a big like England fan, and I get mm. really into these tournaments. And um, it just felt like a real punch in the stomach. Like it, it, just, it was a terrible performance. I was sitting there with some fr fr some of my friends were over, right? Mm. And I got this game on in the background, and I was just like, "Why am I watching this game?" Like, yeah. you know what I mean? I was getting so annoyed with it. Like, <laughs> so, the the most comprehensive, most, um, the best squad that we have ever had, I think. Mm. Potentially ever yeah, had. agree. Like a ridiculous squad <laughs> and we can't even get a goal. We lose one nil at home at Wembley mm -hmm. to Iceland before the Euros. Like, I don't know what, I don't know where to start with it. Mm. It's just, it really, it really sucks. And um, I, I, I remember something like this happened in the World Cup as well. We really messed up some friendlies. And then the World Cup, we actually look pretty good. So mm. I'm wondering if it's going to be the same <laughs> format. Yeah. But um, let's hope so. Serbia on Sunday. I think we should comfortably win that. But right now, it's very difficult to to mm. call it. Well, we're, we're the odds on favorite, not odds on, but we're the favorites to, to, to win, the, win tournament. the tournament, according to the bookies. Were there were there any positives from the, either of those friendlies? Like Saka's not injured. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, but is is he not injured? No, he, might, well, he's, he, never he came on. He, he came be, on, right? So be. he's. So I think that's positive. Yeah. Um, uh, Trent. Trent was, Trent was the best Trent player of the awesome. two games. Awesome. Yes, and we'll chat about that in a little bit. Yeah, I agree. Um, I, I know we're going to talk about our ideal England team, and I got some mm. ideas on Trent. Uh, mm. But um, what yeah, about and in even the... Cole, like Gordon. Did you see Gordon? He was absolutely terrible. I like, thought. See, this is the thing. Like. I, I thought Gordon played really well in the first half against Iceland. He was the one that was stretching the team. That one where he cut inside, he should have done a lot better and at least got that on target. He should have scored. He but at least scared. he was getting... He, I, thought like, he I would scared. rather Gordon did that than Grealish get it and then pass it back. Yeah. Jack and sideways. do nothing. Like, yeah. honestly, it winds me the hell... You're a winger. Yeah. Be a winger. Yeah. At least Gordon's running at people, running in behind, stretching teams, stretching players. He's young, he's fit. Yeah. He don't mind a tackle. I, yeah. Like I've got a lot of time for Anthony Gordon. He's I do as well. Season. And that, I was I, that's it. For me, I was a little bit disappointed by that performance from Gordon. Because mm. I was like, he actually could potentially start on the left, but yeah. I don't think that's the case anymore. Do you not? No, I don't. Who do you um, think starts on the left then? Well, I know we're gonna ch be chatting about this, but yeah, I th and this is gonna be really difficult. It's yeah. you know what? It's the position of number ten and left wing for me yeah. that I just don't know what to do. Yeah, I think um, I think Trent needs to start next to Rice. Um, we, I know we're gonna be chatting about this, but uh, but that means mm. that um, I was gonna be thinking Cole Palmer starts number ten, but mm. I think that he needs to come out, and I think Foden needs to go <laughs> on the left, which isn't the best, mm. but I think it's our only it's the only way. Thought, what do you think? I thought Palmer was very lively. I thought he was as well, but I, he, I don't he think he starts. I think, nah, I thought Trent. Nah, probably not. Yeah, I don't. I don't mind that. But what about the um, Ezra? What about the introduction of Ezra? Oh yeah, yeah. In very, the, who did he play positive. in the first friendly in in Newcastle? Who was? Who did he uh, play against? I can't remember now. Oh, Bosnia. Right, Bosnia. Yeah, so yeah, again, right. not yeah. the stiffest of opposition. Yeah. And it took us a little while to break them down. Yeah. And it was for a penalty as well. Right. Weren't it? Yeah. And Cole like, Palmer got that. Yeah. yeah, and, and it was three 0 in the end, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, Trent yeah, yeah. scored. Yeah, what good, about good performance? What about the pass from Trent though? Oh, what about the fade on that? Sh that yeah, ting. He is like just oh, he, he is just, a baller. It was isn't so he? effortless. Yeah, he's an like, absolute he's a baller. He's almost creative player. Yeah, I love him. I actually love Class. him. He definitely needs to start for me. Yeah, I agree. So, I, I, I've not been impressed with Walker. 
So we did our England teams last night, right? Yes. Um, I say that at as right if we back. were like hanging out last night and doing our teams. Yeah. Right? Well, <laughs> um, we could have been. Yeah, we could have been. Who we could knows? invite um, around. But uh, do you have Trent starting? Yeah, of course. Trent starting for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. So I got Cole. I got Palmer starting at the moment. But yeah, yeah. I know we're we'll, going to be chatting about. Yeah, bit. we'll look at our team. So, like overall, how how do you feel we've shaped up for this tournament? I didn't feel good about it at all. At no, the moment. no. How like, how could you? How could we be feeling good at this point? I got my England shirt on. I've been wearing yeah. it for a few days now. You yeah, know, I'm, I'm into it. I've got the fever for Euros. Have you? I'm, I've not. It's not kicked in for me. I'm not I can't excited. Wait. One I'm bit. gonna watch all the games. <laughs> I'm gonna watch every game. I'm gonna, gonna watch try to watch the, every game. I'm yeah. gonna watch it all the games as much as many games as I, as I can because obviously yeah. I'm working for some of them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's not like Euro fever hasn't kicked in just yet. I think once it, once it starts, yeah, and it starts this Friday, doesn't it? It's, yeah, um, is it Scotland Germany? Scotland Germany. Yeah, massive yeah. game. Massive game. An FPL veteran. veteran. Yeah, yeah he's how, looking forward should to we ask him how he feels about Germany? How are you feeling, Shane? If you're still watching. Um, yeah, I, I, once it once it starts going, I think I'll be I'll be really. So I got on the fix. It. By the way, I've got notes and stuff on my phone. I'm not just yeah, like no, texting. Do you, do you know what I mean? But so we have got England, Germany. Sorry, what am I saying? We have got mm. Germany, Scotland on Friday, and then it's Hungary, Switzerland, Spain, Croatia, Italy, Albania on Saturday, and then Poland, Netherlands, Slovenia, Denmark, Serbia, England. So listen, <clears throat> at this point, I'm excited about the tournament as a whole, but do I feel good about England? Mm. No, I don't. Why would I ever feel good about England going into a tournament? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Um, but we have got the ammunition to do some damage. We do. And you have know we got, got the right coach? You know what I'm really excited about? Bowen. Really? Yeah, yeah. Are you? I think Bowen's going to be an absolute... I think Bowen's going to be an absolute star sub for us. Star sub? Yeah. I think Palmer will be start. our star sub. I imagine how, imagine bringing on Palmer, Bowen, and yeah, Gordon. I'm real. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 60 minutes. Or Ezra. Yeah, Ezra. Oh, yeah. Ezra, man. So it's a good. problem, isn't it? Yeah. We've got problems everywhere. We, yeah. We've also got a big problem in defense. Massive problem in defense. <laughs> With Stones going off injured. Like, if we lose Stones, yeah. we're going to have potentially a center half partnership of Gahey. Dunk. And, and Dunk? Gahey and Dunk, it'd be. Wow. Right? Or like, would you play Carl Walker? I reckon Walker could play. Well, he could do a job. Uh, yeah, that's what I think. I think I think Carl Walker could do a job at center half. He has done a job at center half. Yeah. As part of the back three. Right. So And Shaw's back. He's back uh, is he from back? injury. Yeah, he's he trained today. He's not going to be match fit though, is he? No. So Trippier will start. We're going to be going through mm. this in a little bit, aren't we? Mm, but yeah, like, 100. Yeah. English team looking bad, says Lewis. <laughs> English team is looking bad. Looking Lewis. bad, yeah. Right. Uh, I'm looking at changing Pickford to Costa, says Carl. Costa? Who's Costa play for? Uh, uh, Claire Trent reportedly going to start midfield instead of defence. Yeah, would be surprised. Oh, we've got the squad here. This is great. Um, Look this is the other thing I was going to ask you. The squad numbers. Trent was given the Trent's eight. Eight. Yeah, I heard about this. That means he starts. Do you, do you, does that mean he starts? He's flipping starts. That, does that mean he Wade, starts? Wade Wilson, my friend. He's mm. absolutely got it spot on. Rumours are that Trent starts. So that means that the team I think mm. is going to be. Let's go like top uh, front six. It's going to be Rice. Yeah. It's going to be Trent. Yeah. It's going to be Bellingham. Yeah. Bowden on the left. Yeah. Kane in the game. Kane going through the middle. Yeah. Saka on, right. on the right. Yeah. Which is <coughs> which is banging. And then a back four of Shaw. You think Shaw Stones. starts? If he's fit, he starts. He's our best left back. He's think, our only left back. Well, Trippier can do a job on the left back. <sighs> I hate Trippier at left back. Yeah. It's just it's just so. Would so you not play Trippier though? If I had to. To be honest, I'd rather play Gahey. At least he's like naturally left footer. I think Gahey's a left footer. He's both footed. Yeah. Like he's very good on both feet. Right. Do you know what I mean? I, I want my left back to have a left foot. Because you can't be having every single time that person on the left gets the ball, they're immediately cutting on their yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like with I mean, Gordon. So if you've got Gordon right. and this is Trippier. The problem. the problem we've got no, is that, you're losing yeah. the width for the pitch. So do, you, you play Walker, right? You don't, you obviously don't, we don't drop Walker. Like, nah. Trippier. But I do think he's coming to the end though. Yeah. He was getting like, like Walker's been known for his strength and his speed. Yeah. Not necessarily his technical ability, but that has improved obviously with his time at City. Yeah. But I'm seeing him getting pushed off the ball a little bit more. I'm seeing him losing that on foot races yeah. a little bit more. Like Ola Aina killed him this season in yeah. the Premier League yeah. for pace. So I don't, I, this might be his last one, I reckon. Yeah. I, but I think what I'm saying is that I prefer, think I'd prefer a trippier on the pitch, like just even for his leadership, you know, like. What, over Walker? And over Shaw. I think I'd have him over Shaw on the really? left. Yeah, I think I would, yeah. Ah, like, no when was the last time Shaw played a game? Yeah, like <laughs> you know January I mean? or something. Yeah, like... I think Shaw's good. I think Shaw's quite I think Shaw's boy. great, but is he match fit for uh, for a Euros? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If he's if he's not 100% fit... Maybe, it, maybe you don't play him, trippier. play him match day two, maybe. Yeah, yeah, possibly. So, yeah, so... Um, yeah, so... Do we, do we read much into these numbers then? Trent, eight, he starts then. 
Yeah, 100%. look at that. So Shaw's three. Does that mean he starts? Probably. If he's um, fit, I yeah. think he does. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think you know, if I was a betting man, I'd probably say Trent starts. Mm. Number eight shirt. I think he's done enough, more than enough in the friendlies. Yeah, I agree. Again, against two teams with like, like Trent created, I think two chances. Yeah. In the time he came on in the friendly against Iceland within yeah. ten minutes. Right, and he scored a goal in the in the and he scored a goal before. in the one yeah. before. So you have to have him. Yeah, yeah, I think he's done more than enough to to be considered for a, for a start in this team. Um, so yeah, and then I wanted to talk to you about this. This is something that's bothered me. Yeah, a lot. Because it is happening repeatedly. It's ridiculous. And I don't understand. Well, I can I can understand what... In fact, no, I don't understand why they're doing it. So England lose. And he was on for Saka minutes. was the main photo on at least four. He was awful. I mean, they were all awful. But he only got 25 minutes. Yeah. So why has he been made the scapegoat on the backs of the papers? It's like already started. It's Be already started, isn't it? Like, they're, they're trying to blame the black contingent yeah. for if and when it may fail. Yeah, it's already started. Like, he's obviously going to be the fall guy. Like, they've already. It's like, outrageous. It's pre they've predicted it. They've 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 put him on a wall. You know what I mean? Yeah, and like people like us can see it. We can yeah. see what's going on. It's it's a pattern that's happening. Yeah. But for the kids that are reading the papers and reading the news online, they're going to yeah. grow up subconsciously thinking these things and this is how they perpetuate these idea ideas. Right. I think. Yeah. These papers. Yeah. And they're they're toxic, man. I agree. It's As, it's outrageous. I think it just goes to show like how much of a bad state like the the press is, like the written press papers, they're just dying and there won't be a thing in like 15 years. Good. This is them just trying to get attention. Good. That's my take. I think they're just they're just a bunch of idiots. And you know what I said? Because again, we were chatting last night, right? Um, I honestly think the English press are the reason why we've messed up so many tournaments in the last 50 years. Great. Like 70%, I would say, is just like, it's the press every time. Mm. We are historically bad. We're mm -hmm. known across the world to be the worst. Mm. And I don't understand why we don't see it change. Like, yeah. they're not helping the team. No. How is that helpful? It's not. You know what I mean? Like... Imagine being Saka. What's he? He's sitting at home thinking, "What the fuck did I do?" Well, like, I think I, they're all. They all get to. A, I, I would suspect they all get to a point where they don't read about this stuff and they they, <coughs> they don't go on Twitter and, you know what I mean? Like mm. I know Rashford does. He apparently he goes on to Twitter and looks. Well, he's, at he's off now. He's off social yeah. media completely. Yeah, now, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like, I I think they're. Pro I mean, you've got to be thick skinned, right? And I oh think, yeah. I think that they they're all going to be in a place where they probably just ignore this stuff. Yeah. But it's not fair. Doesn't it's make ridiculous. It right, though. Like he's so good. He's such a good player. And he's mm. what, like twenty two. Yeah. Is he twenty two? He's twenty two. Yeah, yeah. He's a kid. Yeah. And after I, I, the Euros as well with Italy, like yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't understand like yeah. what it's about. It's there's something much larger going on with this stuff. I was trying. I was trying to see what the reason would be for them to do that. And then I thought, right, okay, it's plain clickbait. awful. He was throwing an airplane off the pitch or whatever. I get it. Plain awful, I get it, the pun and the Genius. headlines. Genius. But it wasn't the it wasn't the it wasn't the image used in, on the other things, but it was still Saka. So what happens? Does the do the headline writers ring each other? Do the papers all ring each other and go, oh, I'm running yeah. with this headline tonight. Yeah. I think you guys should do the same. Yeah, let's all fucking get on. Saka's back. I, ju I just want, like, what the fuck's going on? I know. On? I just and you know, like if you think about like Beckham, like Gaza, like there's loads of other like stories like this that have happened. I think that they probably do all have a chat, or so they must all <laughs> just WhatsApp chat. WhatsApp chat. WhatsApp oh chat. Who's God. the player gonna? Who who are we gonna blame? <laughs> who do we blame? Teared up boys. Yeah. <laughs> Get those thumbnails ready of him throwing the plane. Oh. Idiots. They're just, just a bunch of idiots. I've just had an idea of us doing, you know, you do those those uh, videos of the WhatsApp chat. Yeah. You know, where people come in, <laughs> yeah. you, like the sun and the oh, guy yeah, yeah, coming yeah. in. And, Who yeah. should we do? Who should we play <laughs> yeah. with this? Yeah. Guys? And there's a guys I got yeah. one, Saka. Yeah. And everyone's like, yes. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, like, 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 like. <laughs> just idiots. Yeah. Niehaus says disgraceful. Mark J, I think most players have been told to stay off socials during the tournament. Yeah, good call. Boycott the outfits that do it. Says Mike. I mean, I've not bought a paper. In yeah, who reads the? Sun, I don't think I've ever bought I mean? a paper. What are these out? What are these outlets? What? Uh, let's, call, let's call them out. So uh, we've got the Sun, Telegraph, bottom right, Sun, top right. I'm not sure about the other two. 
Probably the Guardian. Is that the Guardian on the bottom left? Probably. I would expect a bit more the from the Guardian. Or the Athletic or something like that. I don't yeah. know. The athletic? <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't Probably not the Athletic. Me. Yeah, I don't. I'm guessing. Don't, don't quote me on that. Yeah, um, it's just the image it, that I found on Google. It is, it's outrageous. Like It really is. Yeah. One headline was black ice next to a picture of Saka. Yeah, no that's way. revolting. No way. Yeah, that was the bad. That, that was the worst one. I missed. I missed that one. Is that actually true? Yeah, true. The BBC did the same. BBC did the same. Yeah, the sun. What a surprise! Says FPL Forest. Yeah, it was. It said black ice, and I saw Simon Jordan talking about it on Talksport, and he was just like, "I cannot comprehend this. It's fucking ridiculous." Like, I mean, absolute joke. you know what's just really annoying to me? Uh, I'm like. We just lost to Iceland. Yeah, Guardian bottom left. Right. When we just lose to Iceland, and now mm. we also have this shit going on before yeah. a major tournament. Yeah. Like, how about the wrong things? We are, aren't we? Yeah. No, like, I'm not. But it has to be called out. I, I totally agree. It has to I be. totally agree, yeah. It's just uh, it's ridiculous that we're having to even talk about this crap. Like, yeah. Hate it. Yes. Uh, anyway, hopefully, Sack has not been listening to all that bullshit. Hopefully, you guys aren't buying these newspapers because they're utterly revolting and if England if any of the England team are watching I just want to say good luck lads yeah good we luck we have got your back come on the boys come on the boys bring it home bring it home do you reckon it's coming home no <laughs> <laughs> it's hard it's hard isn't it it's hard to like yeah when we've we've come so close on so many occasions now it's yeah. like we're just tainted I think that's it I think we're going to live in the in the shadow of 66 yeah. for the rest of our life. Like, if we don't big, win it now... Big up the women's team. Big up the women's team. the women's team, yeah. yeah. Big up Jill they, Scott they, and then they we get did their thing, yeah. yeah. Um, 100. But we, I don't think I'll see England... I don't feel like we're going to win a... If we don't do it now tournament. with the best player in Germany, the best player in Spain, yeah. and the best player in England, yeah. we're never going to do it. What? Yeah. Am I not right? Am I right? It's outrageous. It's such we're the a good best team. players... In the three best leagues, if we don't win it now, we might as well just pack up and go home forever. Okay, let, me, let me ask you this. Go on. Who, if, if, who do you think is going to win the tournament? Come on, England! Who do I think is going to win? Yeah. I think France will win it. Yeah. Germany? I think Germany will come close. I think they'll get to the semis. Portugal? Spain. I think Portugal have got yeah. a real. I think Portugal got a good chance. I think They've got a good Port team. I think Portugal got a really good chance. In fact, yeah. I'm going to change my answer. I think Portugal. You're in Portugal. Yeah. CR7. Yeah. Bruno. They've got so Bruno, many attacking players. Yeah. They're Bernardo, really good. Jao Felix. Jota, even. Jota. What a player. It's just whether they can get the balance right with those sort of players. But then they've got like Jao Pelinha, who's an absolute fucking force. Yeah, he's in awesome. Defensive mid. They've got yeah. attacking fullbacks, Cancelo, Dallo. Yeah, he's going Bayern, got, right? Who? Pa uh, Paulinha, I think, is going Bayern. Yeah, yeah, I've been after him for a little while, haven't they? Yeah. Um, who do you think is going to win? Um, you know what? I think, I actually just think it might be Germany. Yeah? He's got a feeling. Home yeah. advantage. Verts, you know, what what player? Just There's... coming off a really good season. I think he's going to mm. be, he's going to be the guy. Um, Musiala. Yeah. You know, just ridiculous players. Nabry. Um, so yeah, I think Germany might do it. France, I think, is a really good shout. Mm. Um, <laughs> Portugal, I think, for me, are, are definitely up there as well. Claire says it ain't coming home. I'm being realistic. Uh, Roberto says it's coming home you mean for Robert, Portugal. You mean Robert from Watford. Robert from Roberto Robert from Watford <laughs> is now Roberto, Roberto. from, from uh, Lisbon. <laughs> uh, France at four to one is actually nuts. Says Mark Getty says France four to one easy money. Who do you guys think is going to win win the Euros? Drop them in the comments, please. Big up to Getty and Mark. Yes, <coughs> yes, lads. Um, let's close this poll off, by the way. Yeah, let's do that. 38 votes. And the answer to, would you agree, the word crisps is three syllables. Split. Is hell no. <laughs> with 61%. It's almost split. It's, <laughs> it's a majority. Let me if tell this you this. If this were Brexit, it's, we'd be leaving the... Oh, wait, we are. It's one degree. <laughs> it's one degree <laughs> off a 40-60 oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> split. It's a 38-62, bro. It's look, almost, don't, don't try and make it look better than it is. You're, it's almost a 40-60 split. You're defo related to Nick. James. <laughs> James just <laughs> shaking his head. <laughs> All right, so what uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to just close that poll. Yeah, you close that poll off. All right, I've closed yeah, the poll. There we go. Let's look, at, uh, let's look at our England teams, shall we? Yes. How right. exciting. Mine's up first. Now, bear with me, because this is a little bit naughty. All right. Talk to me. I've gone for a Man City 3-2-4-1 formation. 
Okay. That's right. I'm going ultra attacking. This is not working. This end pole, Jimmy. I'm Can clicking it. Can you come in and fix it for me, please? <clears throat> That's my missus there, Francesca. It, she's Italian. Uh, she hey, says Italy, obviously. Hey, Mrs. Hey, Mrs. Ash. Uh, yeah, if England don't win it, then I want Italy to win it. Yeah, that's Hun Italy. Are good, Italy are a great little dark horse team. Hundred yeah. percent. I mean, that, uh, shocking. That I team. think uh, Mrs. Churchill might be watching as well. So hello to my wife if she is out there. <laughs> James, can you come and fin fix this pot? There, there we go. Done. FPL uh, fella, let me just read that. My new favorite FPL YouTuber, big season for Alf next season. FPL fella, thank you, my friend. It's a pleasure to be on this journey with you guys. I'm really enjoying it, so yeah. thank you. Fella, I'm going to keep it up. Fellow's an official FPL Juice pundit. Yeah, I know, yeah, so yeah. Representing. What ledge. Proper yeah. ledge, mate. Proper. He's been supporting me. Proper Love guy it. he is. Um, yeah, this is my team, Alf. I've gone Pickford yeah. in goal, because yep. he's the obvious, obviously, obviously the best goalie yep, out of the sense. three. I've gone for a back three. Shaw on the left, Stones in the middle, Walker on the right. I've gone for two DMs, Rice and Trent. Rice for the uh, Ooh, this rice, is... rice for the yardage and Trent for the pingers. <laughs> I've gone, I gone four behind the striker. Ash Guardiola. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. That's Look at this they don't call me the professor for no in. reason. I bro. love it. I've got Gordon on the left, Foden and Bellingham in the 10. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Saka team. on the right and Kane up top. It makes tell so me that, much sense. Tell me that's not cool. It makes so much sense, doesn't it? Tell me this team's not winning. Yeah, you just pop Trent back <laughs> when we're defending. <laughs> Yeah, Trent goes to right back when we're defending. And then we've got a flat back four. We've got Walker playing a CB like we talked about. Yeah, we've got Ben and them just getting about, like up and down. Just doing his thing. Just doing his Foden, thing. same role probably, just doing his thing. I want Gordon I, I want Gordon because I want him stretching. I want him purposely stretching. And I've left Palmer on the bench because I think he could be a superb impact sub. <laughs> yeah. He, tell me a better player, like young player of the year, scored tons of goals, dragged Chelsea through the season. Yeah. He comes off the bench if things ain't going right in, in place of Foden or Bellingham or whatever. I love it. Like, or Gordon. And just make a difference. Go and play. That's what he's good at. He's good at just going in and playing. Yeah. Don't, don't restrain him to systems. Just let him go and float about and do what he needs to do. If we need to chase a game, whack him on. But yeah, what do so you reckon would you, this? Would you, yeah, I, I mean, I, and, like, happy right off the bat, I love it. I think, yeah? it, I think it's incredible. Um, I think that I think four three three might be the formation for me, but um, mm. I, I think it's if this was like <laughs> if this was Pez, yeah. this is Pro Evo soccer. Yeah, that is my England team. <laughs> Do you know or what I mean? Football manager. Yeah, yeah. Football manager. Yeah. You know, EAFC, whatever. Like, yeah, like I know, like in the real world, it would take someone with huge, gigantic Guardiola to do something like <laughs> yeah. this. Yeah, but with the type of players that we have players that can keep the ball, yeah. retain possession, and teams are going to be coming at us with a low block. We're going to have to flood players forward yeah. and just be good at trying to defend on the counter attack. 100%. But that's why I've got Walker at center off for the pace. Yeah, I love and, I, and I want someone with a left foot at the back. So that's why Shaw's there. Yeah, and you know what? Like Gordon and Saka, like they, they get back, you know, like they work hard for their yeah. clubs. So like perfect players to have on the wings. So I, I think it makes I think it makes sense. Like, mm. will I think Gareth has the minerals for this sort no of chance? Absolutely not. But this is my team. Yeah, I didn't yeah, want I love to, it. When I said to you, like, I don't want you to tell me what you think Gareth's going to do because I think yeah. we all know what Gareth's going to do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This is what I would do, and if we lost, so be it. But we're going for it. All out attack. That's I think, what I say. I absolutely love that. I think it's a great team. Uh, Mark says, can we all start pinging this to Gareth? That team would be nuts. <laughs> Boris says, I like it. Southgate going to Southgate though. Well, yeah, 100%. Has Kyle Walker ever played centre back? Yeah, he played He played yeah. in the last... Um, he can play CB. He can do a job World there. Cup, didn't he? When we went, we did that weird 3-5-2, didn't we? And with like Ashley Young on the left and I think yep. Trippier playing right wing back and then Kyle Walker tucked in at centre half. I think it works. Who um, let Gordon in? <laughs> who, who said that? Who let Gordon in? Who let Gordon in? <laughs> nah, mate. Gordon's going to be proper. Gordon's a winner. He won the uh, Euros for the under-21s. <laughs> yeah. He's a winner, mate. He knows what it takes. Fella says, I hope Southgate is watching the stream. He probably he probably isn't. But if he is, Gareth, mm. I'm looking at the camera now. This is to you, Gareth. <laughs> I love you. You, you have got this. Um, stay hydrated <laughs> and get some sleep. Um... He's coming home. What do you make of his, his changing attire? His, his what? His changing 
Oh yeah, I, I, I he's, liked, gone, he's um, gone for the button polo this time around. Yeah, he's gone like casual the Gareth. Polo, sorry. He's gone casual. Yeah, ca cash Gareth. He's trying to do a daishi, isn't he? He's yeah, to, like, make it I, less formal. Yeah, I liked because yeah, daishi went from the uh, suit to the tracksuit, and then Everton went on this massive, yeah, sick run, didn't they? Yeah, I reckon I prefer the waistcoat if I was going to go for <laughs> off pitch attire at yeah. this point. It's sort of trademark. If you so if you were a manager, what would you what would you be rocking? Is I'll be rocking like a shirt like this, to be honest. I like back. these shirts. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just like really Larry <laughs> colourful shirts. Yeah, I mean, that, I'd be on the. I'd be if known. You, if you were, I'd be known for the shirts. If you were a leader of uh, a bunch of eighteen to thirty five year old men, yeah, they would respect you. They would be like, what kind of shirt that. is he wearing today? <laughs> you know. What's, what's, what's he got on today? And then what's on what's on the legs? What are you? Um, chinos. I'd probably, I'd, yeah, something like this actually. Uh, so I might go do. I might just go like this. So these are like chino. These are sort of chinos. Some dark and chinos and some, and some Adidas. Some Adidas tops. high tops. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. 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 Done. And then Done. Are, you, are you wearing the the England, jersey? England shirt, England shirt, the jersey indeed. of the club you're working for would be underneath the shirt. There we go. Yeah. All right. Now, now we're talking. Yeah. I would be straight up JD tracksuit. Yeah. With a flat peak hat. I love that. So yeah. Just in case you need to play. <laughs> and a man bag. Just in case you need to play. <laughs> Bring a man bag off. Yeah, nah. Boys, I'm coming oh, on. Geez, that stays on. I've got <laughs> valuables <on>. in there. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, ain't letting that, I ain't letting that sit in the change room. You never know who's going who's gonna to nick that. Uh, all right, let's look at your team. Yeah. So I moved. If, oh. I, I, if, if you can see, I put mm. Rice back a little bit. I got my... I got my EAFC hat on for this. Um, I see, I do, I see when you've... I play EAFC, I tinker. Yeah. I really move my players around. Yeah. So I did the same thing for this. Um, so you'll see Rice there. I got Bellingham on the right. I got Palmer at number 10. As I said last night uh, and today, I think that I would probably drop Palmer for Trent. I think that's based on the last sort of like 24 hours. And then put Bellingham in the 10 and Trent in yeah, the Yeah, exactly. Six. Yeah, exactly. Um, do a similar thing to what you're doing. Just get Trent back when we need to defend. Um, Trippier at left back. Yeah, like we spoke about that earlier on. I think it just makes sense just mm. from a leadership standpoint. But it is a bit annoying. Like Shaw's awesome when, on his game. So mm. like that is a bit annoying. But I think I would start Trip. Um, Gahey Stones makes sense for me. Obviously Pickford Walker on the right. We all know about that. The only really contentious part for me and the bit I can't get my head around is Foden on the left mm. because it's not, it's actually sort of evolved to be not his position for City. Yeah, I agree. So I think that he is actually really effective at a 10, but I think um, if we get Trent in for Palmer, we can, have, much like your, your, your team, we can have Foden and Bellingham just sort of floating about. Mm. Um, I like the idea of Bellingham going over to the left sometimes. <coughs> You know, and Foden coming in. I think that actually might happen. And then just Saka. There's no need to say anything about Saka. Just obvious no-brainer to have him there. And then uh, HK up top. HK. So, like, it is a bit of... I like yours because it's a bit more... Um, it's a bit more maverick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, this, I think it. this is quite close to what Southgate yeah. will probably end up going yeah. with. Yeah, mine's a bit sort of vanilla, isn't it? Yeah. Um, like, I think he will do what the move you said. And then it's... So, Bellingham in the 10... Yeah, Trent in the six, and then Foden. Yeah, I think this that, that'll be it. Like I think that'll be it. <coughs> Foden out left. That it seems such a waste. Such a waste. Yeah, but I mean, I think he'll do a job. And I again, I'm just hoping that like Bellingham and Foden just sort of switch about. I think that's what what the plan might be. Um, and then obviously you just got Trent doing stuff. Like you know he's going to be pinging balls about. Like, mm. I think that that for me is the starting team. Uh, obviously, take listen. I'm taking Palmer out at this point. Um, Palmer for Trent. Have Trent play next to Rice. That would be my team starting against Serbia. Mm. If Shaw's looking good and he's fit, then maybe get him in for Trippier. And then Gahey, Gahey or Dunk. Um, or Joe I, Gomez. I don't think I'd start Gomez. Was it a mistake not taking Brantwaite? Maybe. Yeah, uh, it probably was, wasn't it? Why? But I don't. He's surely he's, he's really ahead. He's, he's really ahead young, though. isn't he? Yeah. I mean, Palmer's really young. Saka's really young. Dunk's not. Wharton's really Dunk young. Manu's really season. young. Yeah, uh, I get it. Like I think Branthwaite was actually the weird one, you know, for me. When I saw the headline of him mm. being out, I was like, that doesn't really make much sense. I think that was a mistake. Yeah, I think I it was a big well. mistake. But who would you, who would you drop for Gahey. Branthwaite? Gahey. Yeah, Gahey gone. Gahey couldn't even get back into the Palace team when he got back uh, to fitness. Hmm? What about Gomez? Gomez is on the bench. Gomez is just your cover. Gomez stays. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd have bought Gomez, and I probably would have left Dunk at home. So sorry, think... who did you have in your in your defence? You didn't have Dun yeah, Gahey starting. Yeah, but I didn't have four at the back. Okay, right, right. Okay. I had three at the back. Yeah. I had Shaw, Stones, and Walker. 
Yeah, I don't feel good about I don't feel naughty. good about that that centre back situation at all. Yeah. I mean, do I miss Harry Maguire at this point? Yeah. <laughs> no, who would have thought it? Oh, I actually miss Maguire. Like Slab he's a head. legend for England. Like yeah. he's just a proper like old school centre off. You know what it is, and for you me? need that sometimes. It just looks like he's wearing a pair of jeans whenever he plays. Yeah. Have you noticed that about yeah, Harry Maguire? Mate. Next time you watch him Cash. play, it looks like he's wearing jeans. Yeah. It's and like, like he's down the pub with the lads, didn't he? Yeah. Please. I getting getting um you know getting there for corners. Like I think we will miss Maguire a little bit. That defense isn't great. Mm. But that's my team. Cole says um, it's Kane off the pitch injured. You you do have Kane very high up in this formation. Yeah, I was trying to I was trying to <laughs> think. Of, yeah, I should have just brought that back a little bit. But no, he is playing. Just to confirm, Harry Kane is playing. He is playing. He is Wade that. says is Kane's proper goal hanging there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's in the goal. Yeah, yeah. I like how you've like moved the players like the position slightly. Like Bellingham's a little bit forward. Yeah, and Palmer's a little bit left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. That's what I do. Well, I, that's I what I do that. on the AFC. <laughs> The FC, I'm like, I'm that guy when I play. Yeah. I'm doing stuff like five minutes before I start the game. Yeah. I'm like, you better just hold on. If you need to go to the loo, go yeah. to the loo. Go get a water because I'm going to be tinkering. <laughs> Should we do a quick poll to see who people prefer, whose team people prefer, uh, out of mine and yours? Yeah, that's a good idea. Guys, fancy doing a bit of that? So if you just come out of that, come out of that. Yeah. Go down to the, like the heart bit. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, no, we've ruined it. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. We ruined James. James, we need you. We ruined it. Fuck's sake. The, pl the plus side had gone. I don't know what you've done as part of the branding, but you, ru you definitely ruined it. I James think, is here to fix things. I think it's going to be close. I think it's going to be close. But I feel like the Mavericks amongst our juice watchers will lean towards reckon, my side. Yeah, I, I, like, I like your team a lot. <clears throat> but yours is I definitely like, more balanced. I like yours more than I like mine at this point. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, you just might as well not even bother doing this. Then. No, no. Like, <laughs> I think that my team is definitely sort of like more towards what might be happening. Yeah. So let's see what happens. It's more, yours is more realistic. Yeah. Mine's like if we were living in the dream world and Pep Guardiola was the manager of, <laughs> yeah. of England. You know what? Whilst we're waiting for this poll, um, I heard rumours of Pep getting the England role at some point. Yeah? Yeah, like six months ago, I, there were quite strong rumours going around that he's going to... And you know what? I would love that. Yeah. Like, give him the, give him the job. Like, he's definitely he's definitely going to do a year a year at City, isn't he? A yeah, year his longer. contract's and then I think out he goes, 2025. Yeah. He, I think he goes. He goes where? Just England. Just has a break. Like, like, because by... Yeah, I mean, maybe. No, but Southfield's going after this tournament. Scotty, yeah, get a bit Scotty in you. Um, Southgate's going to be going after this tournament. Right. Yeah, where's, so, he gonna, where's he going to go to? Do you think? I don't know. He's probably going to sit in the wilderness. He's a championship. He wins, he's a championship level manager. Isn't he? He'll probably end up at Luton because Edwards is going to Leicester, and then I'll probably take Southgate at Luton. Just, just for the, uh, just for the views. I heard that Southgate. I mean, it's not. It's not like um, a secret sort of situation with Southgate. But I heard that he might be going to United. Yeah, I mean, that's quite strong rumours there. It would be really harsh on Ten Hag if they were to sack him after winning the FA Cup. <laughs> yeah. That would be, that would be wrong. You can't do that. I don't think that's right. There we go. Look at that. Wait, <clears throat> I don't think I'm doing myself. Or, uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, I don't think <laughs> no, I'm doing No, no, that's it. right. <laughs> no, wait, who is? Uh, Ash, Alf Klopp. Oh, no, I got it. I got it. Alf Wenger. Oh, there you go. So Alf Ramsey, yeah? Is that what you're going to go for? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a bit of Sir Alex Ferguson. going on. Just want some mind games. All right, guys, we're gonna do a little poll. Whose team? Whose England team do you prefer, mine or Alf's? Please vote. The poll no. is live. Uh, Wade Wilson says, "I think Brantwaite should have gone." To be honest, uh, Kane licking windows. Wow. Moving on. Uh, yeah, it's weird that Brantwaite did not make it. It had a great season, says Nihal. Uh, fun fact, Bowen has more non-pen goals than Palmer and Saka and scored the most headed goals this season. Serbia are a really tall team. Yeah, I mean, you were talking a lot about Bowen earlier being... I love Bowen a good as a impact sub. Yeah. yeah, I think he's going to be really good. And like Saka does mm. have his off days, you know? Yeah. So I think get Bowen on 60 minutes, I think yeah. that's going to be cracking. Like, he is awesome when he plays. Yeah. I always like, I love Bowen. Yeah. He should be at a better, a better club. I like him. He's got pace. He works yeah. hard. He works really hard. Yeah. Yeah. He drives the ball forward, which is what we want to see. He's got a really see. good song as well. He's got a great little song, you know? What? Bowen's on fire? Yeah. This is a classic. Sing, sing, can you sing the rest? I forgot. Bowen's on fire. My sentence is very high. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you was going to do it full on now as well. <laughs> uh, uh, 
Oh, is that a good club? Says uh, says Fella. All right. This poll is actually, it's flip-flopping. It is, yeah. But I think people have forgotten my team. So I'm just going to let them know. Oh, wait, wrong, wrong one. There's Alf's team. Oh, and there's my team. Alf's team, my team. All right, get your votes in. Um, oh, it's 50-50 right now. Unbelievable. <clears throat> I'm on get... the edge of my seat. Take it back to the, uh, the main screen, please, Jimmy. Thank you. Right, should we talk a bit of uh, Euro Fantasy? I did have a little image for this. Do we have the image for the Euro Fantasy? What? Mate, it was the official Euro Fantasy logo. That's the thing. That's... <laughs> well, <laughs> Brilliant. I'm real, mate. Who Spot put... On. Who, like, sort of did Why the edges? You're in charge. Who softened the edges? He did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had the, the original image, but it was like like shorter and longer what and it was like different proportions it didn't look as good i wanted it to be like instagram size james how did you soften the edges magic mate magic <laughs> it's kind of magic uh, oh look euro, at that unbelievable euro euro fantasy alf yes um i'm excited are you excited I'm excited, yeah. You know what? I Three weeks ago, I wasn't sure if I was going to be playing it. Yeah. I just wanted to have like a bit of a break because yeah. I put a lot into FPL. <clears throat> um, like a lot. So I was actually really looking forward to a break. And then, you know what? Lewis pinged me. I got Mr. Uh, FPL Mr. Bird pinging me. Alf, like, what's your team for fantasy Euros? And I, I just got swayed into it. It got you a bit gassed yeah, up. Yeah, and then, you know what? I'm in. I... I and I've said this on one of my videos when I'm speaking to a stranger about it. Mm. I just don't like the idea of, let's say I've got England versus Portugal and I've got Cristiano on my team mm. and I'm kind of rooting for him a little bit just to yeah. be scoring me points. Yeah. That's my concern. Yeah. Um, so but that's your concern in FPL though, as yeah, well. Like that's you true. The same that's problem. true. That's true. It's just like, I think for Euro and like international tournaments, it just hurts a bit more just because it's England. Yeah. You know? Um, so... That's a part of it that I'm not looking forward to, but I'm in. I'm in now. Yeah. I've got my team drafted. I'm ready to go. I wouldn't have done it if James hadn't made me. <laughs> he, I'm doing. I've been forced to do these shows against my will. <laughs> <laughs> but so, so now that now that no, you've I'm done your joking. Dr okay, I'm right. joking. Now, I would have played it regardless. Yeah. But would it have been nice to have had a break? Yeah. It would it would have been yeah. but then we would be here now. That's true. Are we here every Tuesday? Are we here every Tuesday now? <laughs> uh, we will be here every Tuesday, yeah. But it's not. Gonna, we're gonna do like little because there's not really enough content from the Euros to, yeah. to do like a full two hours every Tuesday. So we'll be doing we'll be touching on it every week from yeah. now. But this was the main one that we wanted to like get the main bits of Euros out of the way and obviously get the guys involved on the chat. Yep. Um, I assume most people here are going to be playing Euro Fantasy. For those that are new to it, what what is different about Euro Fantasy to FPL? Yeah, so I think the main thing is that it's a knockout tournament, right? So it's different. Mm -hmm. It's not like you know, we have like GW game weeks, right? In mm -hmm. FPL, um, that's not a thing. We're never gonna have a game week thirty-eight. That's obvious. Um, but it's uh, split into match days, so we have three match days for the group stages. Uh, and then we have like full on knockout. So you'll be able to get more players in as the tournament continues. From like, for example, at the end, you're going to be able to pick six players from one team and mm -hmm. five from the other, right? At the um, final. So, yeah, yeah, in the final. So same thing with like UCL uh, fantasy. Right. Um, the main difference, everything else is very similar. The main differences are two things. Number one, um, players get points for ball recoveries. So if, for example, let's just say, Rice recovers three balls, he gets one point. Right. So if he recovers six, he gets two points. Okay. Right? So it's every three. Thank you for that math. Yeah. I did actually need you to work out. I'm not even joking. <laughs> um, uh, so there's that, and then obviously that will also count towards his like bonus bonus points. Um, and then the uh, the second thing is around long shots. Long shots. Yeah. So goals scored outside the box gets yeah. another point. Additional point. Additional point. And is it? 
is it similar in terms of six points if a defender scores, five yeah. if a midfielder, four if a striker scores? Same, I believe it's the same scoring yeah. system. Yeah, that's right. <coughs> so it's it's the same principle, and yeah. also the what the, the and you chip, start off with a hundred mil, hundred mil, same yeah. amount of sixteen players, isn't it? That's right. Yep, yeah. yep. And then the another really big part is actually the chips. That's actually also very different. So you yeah. have two chips. You've got like a wild card chip mm -hmm. and then limitless. Yeah. Um, so two chips in the whole tournament, which is obviously very okay. different to FPL. Um, but that's it in terms of differences yeah. between the two. So it's it should be, be very familiar. Yeah, it to should people be familiar. That play FPL. You can also change your captain, uh, which yeah. is interesting during a match day. This is interesting. So the way I understand it is, you should be lining up your team in order of who plays first, because if that player doesn't score very well, then you can sub in. Yeah. a player from your bench who's playing at a later date in that same match day. Is that right? Right, that's that's my understanding of it as well. Yeah, yeah. you can also change your captain. And the yeah. say, it's a similar thing with the captain. Yeah. So, for example, Germany-Scotland game. If you've got a German player, you captain them. Yep. If they blank, you can change the captain to Mbappe, right. for example. Right, which yeah? is ridiculous. So you kind of have to stay on top of it. Yes, you do. And I think that it's going to be a little bit less pain than FPL because we all know, you know, the plight of captaincy and getting it wrong and mm. there being an injured player. You actually have a way in which you can remedy that with this particular game. Yeah. Which is cool. I like it. I think FPL should incorporate some of this as well, to be honest. The the captaincy stuff. Yeah. And and also because there's no, the, the, I think some the deadline is slightly different. You can still change your team despite the team being not leaked, but announced. The yeah. squad, the team's been announced. You can still make your transfers, right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So it, it allows you total transparency on who's playing and when. Yeah. It allows you the flexibility to change your team within yep. your squad, which does make sense if you're picking a squad of 16. Yeah. And it also lets you change your captain. So even if you have a blank on an early fixture, you've still got the potential and, it, and the excitement of in with a later on captain. Yeah, for sure. It makes it's nice. it makes sense. Like it's nicer. Would you like to see them sort of things in if I in think FPL? So. I think so. I mean, I don't know. I I love the sort of like meme culture of FPL because it is so painful. You yeah. Know, like I sort of like that part of FPL. Like you know when you have a really <laughs> bad game week, you just have to laugh. At it. Yeah. I remember once there was. Um, I think do you remember Dennis for Watford? Emmanuel you know, Dennis. Yeah. Do you remember yeah. when everyone like Scumbag. triple captained him? on a double game yeah. and he got a red yeah, card. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like that is like, that is <laughs> FPL folklore. Do you know what I mean? Like that sort of stuff. I don't, I, I don't think you're gonna see much, much stuff like that with this particular game. But um, I would say is FPL perfect? It, I think it might be <laughs> mm. just because it is so imperfect. Yeah. Do, does that make sense? No. No, it's just, <laughs> it's just, it can be an awful, cruel game sometimes. Yeah. And I don't think I'd want that to change. How many years have you been playing FPL for? Um, I had a bit of a break of about five years, but okay. I've probably played all in about uh, eight years, nine years. Yeah. Yeah. Because how, how about it's you? not like five or six years. Okay. But it's not changed in that time. Yeah. For me. Like, they haven't changed people, it because they can't. I people think. will remember the times where they had different chips, like all out attack and them sort of chips. Like I, I've only ever known FPL the way it is now. Yeah. So it's not it's a bit like what we were talking about before. It's like you know, with us, we're constantly changing our branding. Yeah. Like we don't even know what we're gonna do, but it keeps things exciting and keeps keeps things fresh. Yeah. Like they're not, and I think that's why they're losing the signups. Yeah, signups because the down. signups was down yeah. Yeah, for the I first time in Dan's video, how, in yeah. however long. Yeah. And I think that's be it's because they're not doing enough to keep people engaged with new things. Well, they're trying stuff, New concepts, new features, yeah. new game modes. Did you play, what was it, FPL Challenge? Did you play any of that? Yeah, a bit, but I didn't again, play any of it. did you not? No. Not, not a bit of you at all. It's just enough going on with FPL, the main game. Yeah. I was like, I just can't do that. Oh, so halfway through a season? I'm yeah. not doing that. Yeah. I mean, they were doing it because they wanted to see if people would be interested in it so they could launch the full game next season starting from day one. Right. I don't think it's achieved what it set out yeah, to I achieve. Yeah, I don't think so either. Because I just forgot about it. Like, yeah, it's, it, you, well, it, it was, I, I get what they're trying to do, but it so wasn't enough. The limitless chip for this game, for mm. Euros, yeah. is ridiculously cool. So there's no limit on budget, right? Like for one match day, you can spend as much money as you want and get whoever you want in your team. Yeah. That for FPL would be awesome. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, yeah. So I hope they do. If FPL Towers are listening, it, uh, you know, they ain't. I hope you're well. Um, I think you I massively overestimate how many people watch this show. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> Gareth. We've yeah. got Gareth. We've got Eddie. England squad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. FPL Towers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the whole crew, mate. So with the with the chips then. So yes, we're we talking chips. We have strategy? match day one, match day two, match day three. Yeah. Then it'll be quarter final. Oh no, round of sixteen, quarter final, semi final, final. Yep. You want to? Can you use wild card match day one? No point because you've already right. got unlimited. So, can you use wild card match day two? Yes. Yeah. And match day three. Yes. What happens at the round of sixteen? Do you get another well, wild card? No, you don't. I don't, th I don't believe that you do. And I think that the, the main point of this is that you definitely want to play your chips in the group stages. 100%. Mm. You don't want to be holding them on for the knockout stages. You want group stage games. Mm. And if you look at the fixtures, they all very much line up with using chips in match day two and match day three. Yeah. I think that the way that I'm going to do it, I think, is do um, limitless on match day two mm. and wildcard match day three. So use them up before knockout would be my big like tip here, speaking to mm. everyone out there. I don't know if anyone agrees with that, but I think it makes so much sense to actually play those way before knockout, get them done, and go into the knockout stage with no chips. <coughs> Wade Wilson says, go in limitless match day three and wild card in the quarterfinal. Uh, Colm, yes, you do last six. So you do get a wild card in the last 16. Is that right? You get a wild card in the last 16? Let's have a look, shall we? It's unlimited we? transfers before round of 16, basically a second option invisible wild card. Okay, cool. So you get a wild card at the round of 16 regardless. So it makes sense to use your wild card in match day two or match day three. So everyone's just going to yeah. pick. You basically get three, three wild cards. Yeah. You get we the get team like you want hit. to match day one. You get sort of free hit on, on yeah. track. Yeah. You get your wild card or limit, like match day two, and then you get the wild card or limitless on match day three, and then you get your additional wild card for the round of 16. Is that the way, is that the way to play it? I think that's the way to play it, yeah. Is that the way to play it? I think that makes sense. Yeah, player wins a penalty, gets two points as well, regardless of if it's scored, says Fella. Oh, that's... That's good. Yeah. That's something they should bring into FPL. Yeah, I like that. So you get an assist, basically. Yeah. Even if they don't score even it. If they don't, even if I'd they don't score that. it, they get two, plus two. How upsetting is it when you get a player who gets an assist point and you're like, yes. You know, and then the the player doesn't score the penalty. And yeah, they get points. Like, yeah, that is pain. Yeah. Yeah. pain. That is pain. Pain. Fantasy pain <clears throat> league. Main strategy is limitless match day three, wild card, quarter final. Then use both. Then limitless two, wild card five. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. yeah so I mean that that make that makes sense to me. Yeah, so what, what are you thinking at this point then? What would your strat be? Um, we'll see how match day one goes with Agreed. the team I've got. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And then I'll probably end up using match day, I'll probably end up using limitless match day two, hmm. only because match day three can sometimes turn up some awkward results, particularly if countries have already qualified from in their groups. They might be fielding, you know, if they've won their first two matches. Yeah. And they know they're going through. They're going to feel that slightly players. weakened team. That's a very good point. So your limitless chip doesn't become quite yeah, that's as a good point. actionable. Yeah. So, but I think the importance of the second match mm. will still be there. So you're likely to have the big guns still then yeah. playing. Yeah. So I'd probably go limitless in two and then wild card in three and just go for some, like obviously you just have a little lay, look at the lay of the, the lie and see what, what countries are qualified, not qualified, and maybe go for some like naughty little punts in yeah. match day three. Yeah. And then you see where, where you are, and then round of 16, you get to go do it all again. Yeah, for sure. I love it. And you yeah. know what's going to be great with Limitless is um, it's having like Cristiano Ronaldo, KDB, Harry Kane, mm. Mbappe, all in the same bloody team. But everyone's going to be doing that. So you've got to think about your differentials as well. Because, yeah. Um, yeah, that's going to be a really big part of it. <coughs> I, you know, everyone's going to pretty much have the same points, I think, towards the end of this thing, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of those things. Like, again, it, it, whoever stays engaged is going to yeah. do really well. And everyone, whoever takes the time to actually understand the rules and when to play things. Because yeah. people might play it and then just like be like, oh, you know, and I was going to use my wild card in the semifinals. Like, bro, what are you talking about? You can't <laughs> use it. Right. So, unless, you, yeah. unless you understand the, the rules, you might not yeah. be able to be in that position. But um, in terms of, like, captains, yeah. talking players now, so, match day one, Germany, Scotland. Captaincy, potential captaincy, Havertz. 
in Havertz, that game. If you've got, if you've Verts, got Havertz, yeah, floor inverts. Is he going to be playing like right wing? I think he. No, I think he's playing as a ten with Musiala. Ten. Yeah, right, okay. two tens in, Ger in the German squad. Mm. And then I think Havertz is up front. And he's not. He's How about not. He's a, playing up front. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a midfielder, midfielder in the game. He's not a midfielder. Oh, is he a forward in he's the game? Forward in the game. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I'm ninety percent sure of that. Yeah. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's a good shout. Um, perhaps for match day one, Havertz yeah. or Verts. And then Gundogan. He just always scores. Gundogan. Yeah. And is he on penalties? Uh, he actually might be on penalties. It'll be Gundogan, won't it? He's yeah, a it might be. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen him in a fair few teams. And on then the, um, on the Spain, Saturday, Spain? yeah, Spain, Croatia. So, a couple of players from Spain. I'm thinking, um, you know, like Rodri. I think would Rodri. be a really good shout. A lot of people jumping on Rodri, yeah, because apparently he's on penalties for Spain. Is he? Apparently he is. Yeah, he's obviously very, very nailed. Yeah, he's going to be. He's like the key player, the key guy in there. But also because of the ball recoveries. Yeah, exactly. And he's, I think he's like six mil, so right. he's quite quite a nice little pick. I like that. I like I like Rodri. Um there's that y Yamal guy as well. I mean Yamal. Yeah. The, the the kid. Yeah. The six is he 16. He looks awesome, yeah. Like, Apparently he's taking his homework out to uh <laughs> That's so cool. He's taking his homework that? out to the Euros to do. Whilst yeah, he's, there. he's good. I think he's going to be a ridiculous player in this tournament. Mm. He looks good. Um and then you got Italy as well, right? Uh so you know, I think obviously match day 1 you you you're, you're going to be either doing an English, I mean, Foden might be the guy. There's no, who's from Italy? Who are you going to captain from Italy? DeMarco? DeMarco, yeah. he's on like free Defense. kicks and corners. Yeah, yeah. And he's he's a defender that gets like forward as well, I think. Because they haven't got like much in attack anymore. No, like, did Skamaka, Skamaka didn't he, get... Yeah, no, he, I think he went. Oh, is he, is I think he, he went. Okay, because I think he got dropped oh, no. from a friendly. Or did he? Oh, no, maybe Fella would know. Yeah, did Skamaka... Oh, you know, Forrest is saying, uh, Echo Forrest is saying Skamaka. But I don't think he's like nailed. Yeah. But like, I think Case is more... More nailed. Yeah, more Kies is a good shout. Yeah. And then um, the Sunday, Poland, Netherlands. Poland, Netherlands. Like, you know, is someone going to do Gakpo? You know, do Gakpo. You know what I mean? Like, he's definitely nailed. It's, it's not exciting, though, it's is, not, it? is it? Depay. Memphis Depay, yeah. Um, Van Dyke's on Van Dyke. penalties. Is Van Dyke on pens? Apparently, yeah. Apparently, the is it Kuhlman? Is it Ronald Kuhlman, the manager? Yeah. Said yeah. Van Dyke is on penalties. <laughs> Confirmed. How about that? That's ridiculous. Confirm. Manager <laughs> confirm. And he's a centre half himself. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So he's like the sort of guy that would say that and do that and yeah. action that. Do you know what I mean? Like Dumfries. There's Dumfries. 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 Yeah. And then there's uh, Javi Simons, right? Javi Simons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I, 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 for me right now, like I know we're going to be doing our teams in a bit, but yeah. I think um, I like Foden as much as they want captain. Yeah. Yeah, I do. What, um, over Kane? Kane's a great shout. I think, you know what, Foden, he's that guy who will just absolutely slap. It's like in FPL, right? Mm. He's, didn't he score like three hat-tricks in the space of five, six game weeks or something? Like, yeah. He is that guy that will just do that. So I think that actually upside-wise, I think Foden might be the guy. But Kane is on pens and it's Harry Kane. So that might be the more conservative pick. Yeah. But if you want a spicy differential captain, I think Phil Foden. I want to have a little look at Phil Foden's England record. I bet it's not great. Because I don't think it's very good. Should we end this poll? <laughs> uh, we... Yeah, it looks like I've won that one, doesn't it? Yeah. Should we do... Um... Thank you guys for voting for my team. Should we do a captaincy sense? poll? What, for match day one? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Phil Foden for England. 34 appearances. This is for the senior team. 34 appearances. How many goals do you reckon? How many goals? What, all in total for yeah, England? For England in 34 appearances. Th only 34. Um, Only 34. He's like 22, 23. Yeah, I know. He just, you know, he just. He's seems... easily going to get 100 caps. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, goals. I'm going to say he's got like maybe seven. Four. Ooh. It's not the best, is it's it? Not great, no. It's not great at all. So we're doing captaincy for match Captain day one. Captain for MD1. What? Who? Who are we saying the options are? It's going to be. Like Mbappe's Kane. gonna be there. Yeah. So Kane's gonna be there. Well, Kane. Mbop. Uh Mbop. <laughs> uh Ronaldo? CR7. Ronaldo? And then Germ like Hav Havertz? Should I've seen Havertz? Him, I've seen Havertz as, as as captain in a few teams. Let's ask chat. Who who should we put in uh, Bruno? Great shout. 
Bruno from Wade Wilson. Wilson. Yeah, because who who have Portugal got for match day one? Czech, Czech Republic, and they're the Czech final game Republic. as well. Has anyone else got a captaincy pick that we should put into this poll? So we've got Kane, Mbappe, Mbappe CR7, Ronaldo, Bruno, and then who who should be the fourth in this poll? I think Havertz, to be honest. Lads, Cramerich is much better than some fancy picks. Kramer Croatia's a funny one. Like, do you remember do you remember Kramerich when he was at Leicester? I don't. That was him, weren't it? I'm sure I don't that was remember. him. And he just he, he weren't doing much. I know he does a does, does a bit for the national team. Should we do Bruno? What, Bruno over CR7. Havertz? Or, or should let's do Havertz? Let's do Havertz. I'll tell you what, do Bruno slash Havertz. Let's do let's do two for one. My captains are Wurtz, Rodri, Kane, and Mbappe. Best small club player in the world, says Reno Marani DJ. Uh, who are you talking about there, my friend? If you want a cheeky differential from Italy, Di Lorenzo could be an option. Is he the right wing back? And DeMarco plays left wing back? You might, you might have to help us out here, guys. Ray Koreshi, evening. How's it going, Ray? You looking forward to the Euros, my guy? Is, um, are you all right? Can you not spell? I'll tell you what, the keyboard is like really, the keyboard's really I was weird. having an absolute mare trying to write these names in. Yeah, honestly. E-R. Look, I know, I know how to spell his name. No. Look, I'm pressing E and it's not doing it. And then it does it. Oh my God. It's there just a go. bit slow, I've there you go. Yeah, right, got let's it. start the poll, yeah, go on. All right. <laughs> That's hysterical. My concentration face there as well, I'm sure, yeah, is not really great. Struggling. It's like, like <laughs> Cool. All right. We're going to start the poll now, hopefully. Hopefully that's up. All right, right, there the poll we go. is up. Please vote now for your match day one captain. And if it's not there, put it in comments who you think should be the match day one captain. I think it's, it's key is, is going to be strategy here is making sure you've got... I've seen a lot of teams that have Kane, Bappe, and either Ronaldo, Havertz or someone. Mm. Is having your captains in order. So yeah. if it is Havertz, captain Havertz, if he blanks, move it on to Kane, yeah. he blanks. Move it on to yeah, Mbappe, etc., yeah. etc. Et Lukaku, Lukaku, yeah. Oh, Are there any players you were quite excited to see, or do you feel like Doku. the Euros has kind of lost a little bit of star quality? Doku for me. Do Doku, uh, Do Doku, Siki. Doku, whoever you want to say. It. I love him. I think he's going to be an absolute Doku, banging player. Doku, from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I don't know. No, oh, that's Goku, <laughs> weren't it? Um, yeah, Doku, I reckon, yeah. yeah, I reckon. Does he start? Gonna, I reckon he starts over Trossard. You got to play both of those guys, right? Mm, yeah, probably. I probably would. Yeah, you Do can't you be rate? dropping either of those two. There is a guy who's just come through though in the Belgium team. He's supposed to be really good. I've forgotten his name now though. De Ketelare. Perhaps, yeah. The one that plays for Atalanta. He's got. He's got dreads. No. Oh, dreads. Yeah. Oh, who are you talking about? He's supposed to. Be, so he's been linked with a prem. I think Arsenal in for him or something. Um, oh, I don't know. I've forgotten his name. If it's but... Arsenal, Ray will know. Oh my God, Ash referenced Dragon Ball. Yeah, it, first and last time, trust me. <laughs> uh, my front three is Kane, Mbappe, um, Lukaku. Yeah, same. That's my front three as well. Yes. I do like Lukaku. Is, um, there, is there anyone else you're particularly excited to, to see? Um, I can't wait to see CR7 because I just love him. I think he's uh, always loved seeing him play. And obviously he's just like, well, mm. how old is he now? Like 40 and he's yeah, still he's just banging in the goals. So do you think he starts? He has to start, doesn't he? I mean, he's been, he's been starting in, qualif in, qualif in qualifying, yeah. hasn't he? You have to play him, right? You have to start him. And he's on pens and free kick. Like, yeah. God last forbid dance. anyone tries to take a penalty off that guy. Is this the last happening. dance dance now? That's what probably I Probably not. Yeah. Like, do you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Gonna he's probably going to be there in the World Cup in two years. Yeah. If he's still playing, because he, he was top scorer. In, I know it's only the Saudi Pro League, yeah. but he was still top scorer. He's got like five hat tricks goals. or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stupidness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, CR7 is always a good one. And then... Um, I would say I'm really looking forward to Bellingham, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I want to see some things from him. Um, Trossard, I think, is an awesome player. Havertz, I'm looking forward to seeing yeah. for Germany. I saw um, a couple of bits coming Verts. out of the German cap camp, and it weren't looking good. Oh, uh, really? What was going so on? So there was, there was a bit of a race route happening. Oh, really? There was a poll done by some <coughs> company. I saw that. It, I it saw was this. a reflection of the German public's yeah. view to... Yeah. People of color within the national team. Ridiculous. They didn't feel like it was a uh, reflection of the German people, which is 
astonishing. Terrible. Bearing yeah. in mind, there's probably like three or four yeah. like black guys in that whole 26 man team. It's ridiculous. But like, behave yourself and to fucking get over it. I mean, who do who is Bruh, doing... you're German, you're German. Don't fucking matter what colour you are. Do you know what? It's not, not only... Do you know what the problem is? It's not the guy whose idea it is to do the poll. It's the guy who signs off. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like James, here. <laughs> yeah. Half of this shit, he signs off. Yeah. It's the, not the ideas guy. Mm. It's the guy who's signing mm. off. Like, what an absurd situation. Oh, yeah. I think it was a Kimi, or Kimich, however you want to say Kimmich. his name. Kimich. 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 Yeah. Um, he came out and was just like, this is ridiculous yeah. James it's revolting is. yeah there was that and um Rudiger had a bit of a bust up in training with um Fulkrug from Dortmund oh really yeah you know because you know Rudiger's of... very handsy right and he got a bit too handsy in training and he ended up throwing Fulkrug down to the ground and like you can see him doing it like he does it every week but it's like mate chill out you're in, you're just in training like yeah he's your guy he's your teammate like what are you doing yeah and um yeah it got a bit a bit vocal, let's do you, say. Do you think Rudy was flexing his UCL medal as Probably, well? Yeah, like, a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, there's definitely a bit of that yeah. going on. How many on have you there. got? <laughs> How many medals have you got? <laughs> yeah, hundred. Yeah. Um, okay, should we have a look at our teams? Let's have a look at our team. All right, let's start with your team, Alf. Because I think your team's better than my team. I By the way, I... uh, smiley face if you like these graphics. Sad face if you don't. Oi. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait for these graphics, rude boy. Right. The graphics are are on fleek. The Fleeky. Evening. Do you know I like I like how you're down with the lingo. Yeah. You're down with the London street and yeah. the urban slang. On fleek. You're on stuff. Like Nick, <laughs> yeah. You're like Nick and me. Yeah. Rolled I'm into like one. A, pe people think I'm really posh. I'm not. I'm not posh. Yeah. At all. No. If they just assume. They just judge me like oh, it's a posh guy. James thought you was posh. Yeah. People think I'm posh. I'm not actually. I don't. I don't pronounce my T's. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I say bottle. Water. Water? Yeah. From Essex. <laughs> All right. How about that? Oh, look at that. But look at that. So talk me through this. Yeah, I'm excited about this. Um I think that the way that I see this playing out is that I might make a change here because or I, I it could be two changes, it could be one. I want to get in Trent because he's a midfielder playing, well, he's a defender playing as a midfielder, right? So I think that makes sense for, and if, if he's starting and those we get those leaks through that he is, then I want to bring him in. And I may just double up on the England defence because we do actually do really well defensively in the group stages mm. historically. So I'm thinking I might do that. Okay. I don't know who I'd take out though. Um, it might be Grimaldo for Trent. Yeah, someone's saying Grimaldo isn't nailed. FPL Forest saying that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so I will make some changes, but this is my sort of like first draft of it. Um, it actually, this is my second draft. My first draft, I had three England mids, and I was like, I just, this Ooh, is ridiculous. Overkill. Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah. Mm. Um, or so, genius. Or genius, yeah. Mm. Uh, so I do, I feel good about my, the defenders I've got on screen here. They all get, get forwards. They're all quite attacking to a degree. Uh, but yeah, I might make that change, get Trent in uh, perhaps, but feeling all right about that so far. Okay. The, yeah, Grimaldo, like the Spain defense is like, I think there's only one player really that's nailed in that. Mm. And that's Laporte. And they've got Lenormand, who's normally playing at center half, but then they've also got um, Nacho from Real Madrid. Oh, of course, yeah. Uh, right, I can't remember if they've got right, oh, don't carve a how at right back, who's oh, like, yeah. I think he's like, is he 5'5 five, five or 6 right, in the yeah, game? Yeah, so he's yeah. quite expensive. It doesn't really like get a lot of attacking. And then yeah. left back is, I think, where you'd find. Grimaldo, right? Right. Um, but I can't. I don't know who's really competing with him for that position. Middle stat. I've seen him. His name flying around loads. Yeah, yeah he's in like he got, teams. He got yeah. recently drafted into the German team at That's left right. back, didn't he? Yeah, he's decent. And he's only four mil. Yeah, makes so, sense. Makes sense. He's, he's, he's nailed on. Yeah, for Germany. Well, yeah. I mean, like from all accounts, he is nailed on. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. Apparently, he's nailed on. I don't. I don't really know. But um, I like Demarco. I know he's on set pieces a lot for Italy. Um, and Cancelo. Like, he's basically yeah. a striker. He's awesome. I mean. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, Pickford tends to do right in tournaments, don't he? Yeah, so I feel good about that so far. And midfield. Then, yeah, midfield. Look, I mean, what can you say about a midfield yeah. like that? There's no problems there. The only issue I have here is Rodri should be in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is that James's fault <laughs> or is that my... I'm blaming J James. Yeah, I I'm blaming blame you. James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you Biscotti, James, and everything. <laughs> I got Biscotti, and you couldn't even put Rodri in the middle. Shocking from you. <laughs> um... No, so yeah, I'd probably put Rodri, uh, what am I saying? Yeah, so Rodri <laughs> would be an obvious one for me, as we spoke about earlier. Fernandez, no-brainer. Foden, no-brainer. I think one thing that 
again, if I do the Trent switch, I've got to think about what I do because I've got Kane up front, which is happening in a moment. Mm. But the reason I say that now is because I'm thinking I need to get a German midfielder in. Okay. So yeah. I, I've done the maths and uh, Wurz could come in for Foden. Mm -hmm. um, they could get Trent in for Grimaldo. I think that actually might be the would, move I make. Would you rather not get rid of Pickford in goal if you're bringing yeah. in Trent? Because then yeah. Trent offers you the defensive cover of England and obviously attacking for it. And then yeah, and allows Neuer. you to keep Foden. Get Neuer in, I mean, how much How much is Pickford? Um, is he 5.5? 5.5. Five, 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 you five, get a I decent think. goalie for 5.5. Five. You yeah. can get like the France goalie, I think, for 5.5. Five, five. Yeah, think. yeah. Like so, uh, but then again, like, I don't, you know how FPL, we doubled up on Arsenal quite a bit. I'm just wondering if like that might be the move for England because we do do quite well mm. in group stages particularly. Yeah but, so. yeah, but this time we've got no Harry Maguire, mate. Yeah, and we just lost 1-0 to, to Iceland at home. At home, <laughs> right. Um, so thought, what do you think? Is that, that's, yeah, yeah, I that's like it. Right, so far, so good. Yeah. Like, I think uh, Pickford, I don't, like, I wouldn't have Pickford, but I understand it. Um, Grimaldo, I don't think he's going to be nailed, but I like your midfield. Fernandez is going to be, I think he's going to be very, very popular, especially if you get yeah. the extra point for the long shots, because he's always taking pop yeah, shots for sure. from yeah. everywhere. He's nailed. Yeah. Um, and he's super attacking and floats around and just does his thing. Yep. So uh, he's a fan. I think he's a fantastic fantasy asset to have. And Portugal's yeah. a totally different, like the, the makeup of the team's totally different to like Man United. Yeah. He's going to get so much of the he's ball. He's the man. Yeah. yeah. 100%. He's going to get so much of the ball. Um, and also, and then, yeah, Foden class, obviously. Yeah, I, I am actually. And one other thing I'd love but to if get. Foden's Kane, out left, though. Yeah, that's true. That's attractive. true. Yeah, yeah. So there we go. Like Musiala, Verts, like that's mm -hmm. who I'm thinking. Mm. Um, also, like. I love KDB and I'd love to get him in this team somehow, but I don't know if I can afford it. But um, that's another thing that's on my mind, yeah. midfield wise. Okay. So perhaps like Wurtz in or a German asset in, yeah. or try and get De Bruyne in somehow. Okay. Up front. I mean, look at that. If Ridiculous. This is very template, bro. I can't lie. It is a bit template, yeah. Bit. Um, this is the template. I mean, right? Doku instead of Lukaku, maybe. Quite like that. Um, but... That is playing it safe. Um, yeah. You know, I do like to sort of play it safe when it comes to these things. So I'm thinking maybe match day one, I'll just kind of go in and no drama, you mm. know, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. no drama, let's just get on with it. Yeah. I don't want to be doing too many differentials. Let's yeah. just Captain Kane, you know, um, you're see keeping how it, You're keeping it tight at the keeping back. Keeping it tight. You're doing, you're doing the south one. gate -y. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're just playing it a bit cautiously, a bit, yeah. a bit conservative. Can we say that? <laughs> a bit conservatively. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, but that's yeah. what I'm thinking at this point. It might change a little bit, but um, I like it. I mean, Habits mm. again, I'd like to get Habits in somehow. Um, but that is pretty much 90% of my team at this point. It might change a little bit. Yeah. Pickford 5 mil, says Sachin. 5 mil. So maybe you couldn't get Mike Manuel. You'd have to have a little look to see what other goalies are about. about yeah. Verbruggen and Costa are my yeah. keepers. Wade Wilson, yeah, that's a good shout. Verbruggen, Verbruggen has been yeah. confirmed. Yeah, yeah by it's confirmed. Um, Mittelstadt and DeMarco, I like Kane and Mbappe, <coughs> says uh, Colm Bula. I'm yeah, like, it's, okay. it's hard to argue with your strikers. Obviously, Mbappe is the main man for France. He'll be on the penalties. Yep. He's the talisman. Kane will be on penalties. He's the main man for England. And Lukaku, say what you like about him. He bags goals. He does. At every level. Yeah, he so, does. He's a baller. Um, Mbappe and also Mbappe there on the, on the pole is hands down the yeah. winner. Uh, for captaincy poll there. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, captaincy they, could change. Did France just lose, though? Did they just lose one of their... Can someone just check for me if France... I'm, I'm fairly certain France lost their last... We lost to uh, Iceland. I've got three England players yeah, no, in my team. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> but just, obviously, for, for content... Oh, no, sorry, it was a draw with Canada, nil-nil. They drew... I've just seen it was playing Giroud, Dembele. Giroud started. Giroud started Giroud. for five years. Yeah, his last, last dance, 100%. He's already said he's retiring after this. Mental. Okay. Yeah, nice team. And then uh, we have your bench here. Yeah, just quite standard sort of template. I mean, Cells, I don't think, is starting. That's, that's a problem. Um, uh, and then three assets that I don't know that much about, but they're just kind of placeholders at the moment. So who, wait, who started in goal for Belgium then? Yeah, apparently it's not Sells. I got, I, someone mentioned it to me on Twitter um, that Sells is not starting. <coughs> uh, apparently he's not. Um, does anyone know that in the chat? Apparently Sells is not starting. Um, 
But yeah, I'm not too sort of inspired by my by my bench to be honest. I, I think I might want to change that up a little bit. But these are players that are steals. That people, yeah, that that uh, uh, look quite good uh, in terms of points and points predicted. So that's yeah. what I'm going with right now. <laughs> Uh, Renamari, Reno Marani, DJ. Most templated thing I saw from FPL Juice <laughs> is your team, I think. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't tend to do templated stuff around here. Oh, Cast really? Yeah, <laughs> Castiles is the starter. Sells not starting, says uh, Sashin. And Bappe come on in seventy fourth min because he had a came on or off because he had a bruised knee. Uh, yeah, like. Yeah, I think this needs a bit of work. F F Valtfaz from Belgium, 4 mil, good enabler. Yeah. Yeah. He'll start, I think. Aslani, I can't tell you too much about, I don't know about him. And Stanchi, I don't know too much about him from yeah. Romania. But yeah, you That's might, just sort of placeholders. Do you not fancy like having some bench players that you can sub on? Yeah, some be some bench flair is what I need, you isn't need it? You need some flair yeah. on the I, bench, mate. Yeah, as I said, like I will work on this a little bit more, but... Mm. Um, I think the first team, the starting team, is actually pretty spot on. It's just my bench players is not looking the best at this point. But okay, yeah, all right, that's your team. Let's have a look at my team. <laughs> Here we go. This is draft number one. Here we go. By the way, Ash Guardiola. This this is subject to change <laughs> a lot. All right, don't hold me to it. In defence, Pickford. After I just slated you about Pickford. Yeah, I was thinking I actually that. forgot I picked Pickford. You picked him. <laughs> what have I done here? <laughs> <laughs> that is embarrassing, Rav. I just said I wouldn't have Pickford, and I've got Pickford. I actually forgot I had this in, this is my team. Good shout. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I meant that. Yeah, Pickford, anyway, Pickford's quality. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's probably the best goalie in the whole tournament. Um, I've gone for Virgil. Love that. Because he's on pens. Yeah. I've gone DeMarco. I think Van Dyke might be actually a really good shout, yeah. Yeah. Um, and Jonathan Tarr. Don't know much about him. 4.5 mil starting centre half for Germany. Oh, uh, cool. Nice. So some de some defensive cover yeah. from Germany that I know will play. You're going clean sheets. I'm going some, for the clean sheets. Some attacking yeah, no potential. Attack yeah, I've got Van Dyke and DeMarco there. They're, they're offering the, out the attacking output. And Tarr, just to wrap up those cleans in the home tournament. Yeah. Hopefully. Love it. Hopefully. Uh, midfield. You're not thinking like Cancelo or like just to go back. I mean, Trent as well. What about Trent? Yeah, I mean, Trent's been in and out. Okay. Like, I had Trent in. Right. And then I took him out because I thought, oh, there's no point having Trent because he's probably not going to start. Now I've seen his number eight. Yeah. And obviously after his performances in the friendlies, I don't see how Southgate can't start here. Yeah. He has to. So Trent is likely to come back in. I think Trent I like. might be, for me, the number one player you need in this game right now. Yeah. Would you agree with that? Yeah, he's up there. Not the number who, one. Who else? Would you not? Who well, defender. Um, defensive wise. Yeah, defensive. Yes. Yeah, okay. It's between him and like and a Cancelo. 5.5 mil. He offers mil. tremendous value. He's yeah. out of position as well if he's yeah. playing central midfield. So ridiculous. And he'll be on corners. Yep. And most likely free kicks as well. And he's a baller. He's danger. He's just got danger with a capital D written all over him. Yeah. He's mental. Um, my midfield. Needs a bit of work. <coughs> uh, so Bellingham's in there because he's the best player in Spain. <laughs> yeah. And Wurz is in there because... Best German. player in Germany. He's <laughs> one of the best players in Germany. Yeah. And he... I don't know. Like I was looking back through some of Germany's starting lineups throughout the qualification. He's in every one. Yeah. Like yeah, he's, they, he's, he's, he's a big player for them. Massive for them. Yeah. Like even more, I'd say, than Musiala or... Yeah. Um, even Gundogan. Yeah, he's had a better season, 100%. So, Gundogan, Barcelona, um, Musiala, Bayern, right? Yeah. yeah. But said he's probably the best player in the team, right? Mm. Like, got to be. So, Havertz, yeah, I've got, perhaps. he's an exciting pick because he's a bit of an unknown for me. I've not watched much of him play. I just know that he is very, he's key to Germany and he's had a very, very good season. Um, Jorginho's in there. I wanted some Italy cover and he's a bit of an enabler at five mil. He's on the penalties, he's I believe. He's on pens, yeah. Good so, show, like that. And then Sudakov, this is just a random one that's probably going to change. I have no idea who this uh, is. <laughs> to be honest with you, Alf, I don't have a clue who he is. Yeah. I was having a look through ra like random teams to see if I could find any little gems. This guy seems to have picked up a lot of man of the matches for Ukraine yeah. through qualification. Oh, wait, Sudakov had a goal and assist tonight in the friendly. So I think he's a little bit Boom. of a naughty one. Like yeah. Most people don't know about him. I didn't even know about him. 
I mean, is he the guy? Is he just been linked with a Premier League team? Is that the guy? No, I think is you're Ukrainian. Thinking of, I don't know. I think there's a, a Arsenal are in for a Ukrainian. No, they, no, is that's um, Sesko. Oh, is it is Benjamin he Ukrainian? Cheshko, whatever. He, I don't think he's Ukrainian. I'm sure it's a Ukrainian who that they're after. Anyway, where's where's uh, Benjamin Sesko from, guys? Sesko is um, playing in Italy, isn't he? Oh. Oh. Slovenian. Yeah, Rene Marani, oh, right, Slovenian. Uh, not Ukrainian. But yeah, apparently this, this Sudakov guy looks like a little bit of a yeah, hid, hidden gem, I'd say. Superb. And he's not he's not that expensive. It's kind of a, oh no. Yeah, for a midfield, he's 6.5. So, yeah. Good stuff. A little bit of a punt. See, again, this is quite good because you're going in very conservative. Yeah, yeah. I'm going in quite labor I know here. I'm in for less pain than you. <laughs> Already, I can tell. <laughs> uh, up front, I've gone with Kane and Mbappe, which is a very template. Hoyland. And I've gone Hoyland. <laughs> love it. Because he bags. I he love bags it. for Denmark. I was looking for a seven mil striker. And I was, and you I was, saw him. I was torn between him and another Ukrainian, funnily enough. You know the guy who scored bags of goals in um, La Liga this season? Dovbik. Okay. I think he was second top goal scorer behind Bellingham. So he's also seven mil. But then I thought, if I have two Ukraine, that's a bit much. <laughs> yeah, that is, isn't it? It's a bit Edge overkill. Bent a bit, yeah. <laughs> but uh, Hoyland's yeah. a great shout. Yeah. Hoyland is a bit differential. On pens? I think, pens no, I think Ericsson will be on the pens still. But mm. I know he turns up for Denmark. Like He's a bit, yeah. of, a, he's a, bit of a major problem. So, um, And then bench. Well, yeah, I'm just, I'm, just wonder, I'm just wondering, are you, have you thought about any Belgian players? Yeah, I thought about it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you're yeah. not into it. Nah. Nah. I got one on the bench. Yeah, I'm just wondering, you might want to try and figure some Belgium out in there. Well, who They're going to be scoring some goals, man. Who, who am I missing? I don't know. I think like Trossard or, I mean, could you do Trossard for Sudakov maybe? How much is Trossard? Is Trossard nailed? I Trossard, can't take out Trossard, Trossard has to be nailed. Sudakov's your boy, right? Sudikov's you can't. You're guy. Not, okay, right. Yeah. So you're not taking him out. Um, what up for Jorginho? I've got no budget. Yeah. So if you can find me a five mil player from Belgium, it's going to do some bits. Like Bellingham is staying, Verts is staying. Yeah. Like I just, it has to be Sudikov. If I'm taking anyone out, it's Sudikov. Yeah. But, yeah. And then, or, or Hoyland, like he's the other one, really. Have you got Bruno on the bench? Yes. Oh, <laughs> flipping neck. So wait, so am I right in thinking? Should we get the fix? Wait, I, can I try? I uh, maybe I've got this totally wrong. So I was thinking I could sub Bruno in if someone else doesn't do good. Yeah. Can I do that? I think you can do that, yeah. I believe you so can do that. So let's say um let's say Verts plays first game, blanks. Right. Yeah. Can I then sub Bruno in for Verts? I I I believe that you can do that. Yeah, right. uh, that's a part of like, that. Has not convinced me. Yeah. <laughs> so can someone tell me? Can I if Verts plays in the first game on Friday and blanks? Can I then sub Bruno in for Verts so that I get Bruno's points when he plays on the final day of match day one? Yeah, chat. Does anyone know that? Is that can I do that? that question? Yes, Ash, yes, that's, Ash, that's right. right. Get it. That's that's what I needed. Thank you. Thank you, Gareth. So this is the thinking, right? I thought about get, this. Get Gareth on the show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Getty, where are you based? Yeah. yeah. Yes, you can. Thank you, everyone. Uh, you can, you can, Ash, put all the players playing last on your base. Yeah, so I've got this right. So Bruno to come on mm. for someone. Dallo to come on for someone. Although someone just said to me, Dallo's not necessarily nailed, which I find really hard to believe. Why would Dallo not be nailed? Yeah, yellow army. At right back. Who, who else have they got at right back? At Cancelo? Portugal? He's left back, is he not? He can play either, but... I mean, they both can play both. Yeah. So, in an ideal world, you have Dallo, Dallo's right? got to be starting, right? I'd, I'd imagine so. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Like, I don't know who else they've got at right back. Um, maybe I'll have a little think about that. Faz for Belgium, obviously cheap enabler, and starts probably. And then I've got the Turkish goalie, who I think starts. He's mm. the man you number two. Okay. By India, young lad, really highly rated. Um, so yeah, at the moment I'm 
I'm quite happy with this. It's quite different. It's nice. I don't want to play the same as everybody else, but I, 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 given I have to have some of the major hitters in there because they will turn up. Yeah. But I like the mix of players that I've got. But yeah, you're right. I probably I need could to, do with some. It's making me think I need to work on my subs <laughs> massively. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know how I said earlier, like I'm in for less pain. I actually yeah. think that I might be in for more pain. Yeah. Now that I've thought about this a little bit more. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going. I'm just going for it, and I want to be. I want to have some like little gems in there. Just yeah, you can switch make up. Make it different. There's no point. It's a seven match tournament. Yeah. There's no point going in with like the same template team as everyone else for seven games. It's yeah, it's boring, true. isn't it? Yeah. I might as well just go for it. Let's go for it. Sod it. Are you gonna win the thing? Yeah, probs. Yeah. Might imagine, well. imagine if, imagine might if well, one of us wins it. Can you imagine? <laughs> Unbelievable. The scenes. It might. We might actually attract ten more viewers. <laughs> Uh, Skamaka, I'm not having Skamaka, Nima, sorry. Uh, Dallo is starting tonight in Portugal's friendly. Thanks, Gedius. Important key info. Uh, Mendes from PSG plays left back, Cancelo right back. Really? Hmm, it's not great news. If Mendes plays left, Cancelo plays right. Oh, it's not, mm. it's not looking good. I'm going to have to rethink this Dallo thing. But Dallo could start tonight back five for Portugal. Back five? Pepe is in the is in the team. How unreal is that? Oh, okay, but then they've got Dallo and Cancelo who basically play up front, so it's back three really. How was Pepe now? Is he like fifty? He's gotta be like Ronaldo age, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. He's around there. Um Trossard spot to lose. Says Neymar. Shout out Neymar, I hope you're doing well, mate. But players waiting on the bench, so if not performing, X Min's risk. Okay. Belgium. I think you think about Belgium. Do you think I need a bit more Belgium in there? Yeah. Okay. Belgium. There are teams. Let us know what you think about our teams, guys. Um, should we end that poll? I think yeah. that was a quick, a quick win for Mbappe. He's the main candidate for the match day one captaincy pick. Quite template pick though, isn't it? Gvardiol. How much is Gvardiol for Croatia? Is he is he big money? Totally forgot about him. How much is he, Rene Morani? Let me just quickly check. Croatia. Defense. Guardiola, 5-5. Five, 5-5, five. Five, yeah. Five, yeah, it's about like right, that. I suppose. Um, okay, time for a bit of Rate or Slate. Let's do it. Is there a jingle? Is, Is there a jingle? No, it's, it was. It was the loudest one on the internet. And it's probably the one of the longest as well. Yeah. For what it was, it was fucking dog shit. <laughs> James done it in clip art, I think. Um, <laughs> what's going on? Where's the stings, Jimmy? <laughs> oh, I want it again. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so we asked you guys to send us your Euro Fantasy teams on X. We're going to pop up a few of them, and I'm going to get Alf and myself, maybe, to either rate or slate them. This is not judged on anything other than our just genuine opinions of the teams and the players. Yeah. We're no experts. Yeah, don't right. take it to heart for crying out loud. <laughs> R.I.P. headphones. I know, I just saw that. <laughs> James, you've just killed off the headphone users. They're done. They're suing us. <laughs> that was the worst <laughs> Avengers theme rip-off ever. <laughs> uh, onions, I'm back. What did I miss? You didn't miss anything, mate. Well, onions, apart from you our, missed so much. Apart from the winning team of the Euros. Right, so let's, if I press right, yeah? Bosh. There we go. Roberto Hollis or Robert to his mates. <laughs> and Roberto, when he's back in the homeland of Portugal, he's gone with this team. Verbruggen in goal. Mm. Back five starting of Valfaz, Mala from Denmark, Teo Hernandez, Mittelstadt, Mittelstadt. and DiMarco. Then we've got Florin Verts on the captain, Soboslai. Ooh, Soboslai is a big, yeah, big pick. And, uh, and Rodri midfield, Kane and Mbappe up top. The bench is Costa. Is Costa the Portugal goalie? Yeah, yeah? I believe he is, yeah. Uh, Ronaldo, yeah, right. Brun, of course, he's got he's double. He's got Portuguese bench got there. Double Portugal, yeah. And uh, I don't is that Chav, Chavet something from Georgia? It's not the good one, anyway. It's not Kavat Skelia. <laughs> yeah. It's another one. Yeah. Right, Alf. What do you reckon to I this? I like it. I like it. Um, I think that 
uh, for me, the thing that's going through my mind right now is that I need to sort my bench out and all these teams, <laughs> your one, now this one yeah. from Roberto is yeah. freaking me out a little bit. Um, it's a good team. It's a good team. Yeah. Like, you know what? I was thinking to myself, he's missing some heavy hitters. Mm. Uh, and then I see his bench of Ronaldo and Bruno. Mm. Um, so I, I like it. Yeah, I rate it. You rate it. All right, right hit the bell. Roberto. That's a bell. That bell was added. Let me see that bell. Oh, that's no, fine. Uh, yeah, I mean, I like I like the goalie. I like the back. Marla is a bit of a, a good a good pick from Denmark because he likes to bomb forward down that wing. Yeah. Um, Rod Sobersly is Love someone that. who's I think a lot of people have jumped on Sobersly because he is Mister Hungry. Like yeah. he takes the pens, the corners, the yeah. set pieces. S Star boy. Star boy. Yeah, nailed. Absolutely nailed. nailed. But who who's in their group? Who's in the group for hung like hungry? Who are they? Let's have a look. Yes, I don't want to reset my team. Not yet. Oh, shit. Let's reset my team. Um, leagues. I don't know. Find out who's in Hungary's group for me. Uh, yeah, I like the team. The bench, he's obviously thought about it. He's got the Portugal players on the bench ready to come off if the starters don't do so good. I'm going to have a little look at that goalie as well. How much is Costa in goal, Roberto? How much is he? Um, I like the team, but... The fact that Roberto supports Watford. <laughs> it's a slate from me. Okay, I got the groups. Go on. What do you want to know about the groups? Who's in Hungary's group? Uh, we're looking at... Five mil for Costa. Okay, yeah. Might be a shout instead of Pickford. Okay, they've got Germany, Scotland, and Switzerland. Germany, Scotland, Switzerland. Yeah, group A. Yeah, so I can get a couple of wins in that group easily. Yeah, I like Sobosla. Good pick. All right. There you go, Roberto. 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 Oh, look, FPL Cal. Cal. And there is a chip strategy. Look he's at got that. a chip strategy here. So he's gone wild card, match day two, limitless match day three. His team looks like this. Lunin in goal, who's the Real Madrid number mm. two. He's only 4.5, by the way. I yeah. had a little look at him. Yeah. Uh, Marla, again. Mittelstadt, again. DeMarco, again. This time we've got Frimpong at the back. I heard Frimpong's not nailed. Uh, yeah, I heard that today, actually. Dumfries. Dumfries is nailed. Right yeah, but back. I think Frimpong might well be featuring for like... A second half or something so yeah i would stay away from those two mm. to be honest yeah it's 50 50 call yeah. isn't it you don't want that you nah. know what i mean no nah, no nah, nah. you want nailed um de Bruyne, christian ericsson who is mr denmark he'll burn on all the set pieces and do tony cruz do you rate ericsson for this tournament no nah. i don't think i do either no nah. i had him in my team like he was nailed he's like one of the first like names on the team sheet when we mm. did the world cup obviously we know what happened to him yeah but I mean, he's been not very good for a li for a long, long time. Yeah, though. and he's not been that great for United either no, for a while. No. I think he's sort of lost his spark a little bit. But yeah, agree. Not sure um, about that. And then Tony Cruz is on last the captain's dance. Day. Yeah, the last dance. Last dance. With Tony Cruz. Yeah, could be romantic. And then template your up front, your striker. Yeah, my striker. Eighty percent of the managers out there will have these three strikers. Yeah. Um, and then on the bench, Strakosha, Faz, Bruno, and then this this guy again. What's going on? Who who is this guy? <laughs> yeah. Chuck <Jack> Vit. <laughs> Check Who Vetter. Who is this guy? Does anyone know about him? I don't, I don't know. He's been two out of two teams. Yeah. Do we need him? Uh, maybe. <laughs> is he <It's> essential? essential. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon to this teammate for Cal? Um, I, like, I, 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 do I have to say rate or slate? You have, have to, to give me one your, or the other. Give me your thoughts and then tell me rate. You can't sit on the fence here, Alf. You've well, been here long enough to know. That's not how <laughs> this show do works. This. We don't nah. do that. Okay. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slate it. <laughs> Cal, I'm sorry. Go Listen, on, press the buzzer, I respect then. it, man. You gotta press the buzzer. Yeah. I respect it. I respect <laughs> you. I, th I think you're ace, Cal. I like your strategy. <laughs> I like your chip strategy. But I'm not sure about this team. I'm not. You know what? I'm not sure about the fact we got Frimpong in and then Ericsson. I don't. I'm not rating. Mm. I think Cruz. I think there are better. Going to be better picks. Mm. I would say that now, and I'll probably eat my words. Right? Like, it's Tony Cruz. Yeah. Um, but I think for me, Germany, I would go for Gundo or. Verts or Musiala mm. over Cruz at this point, right? I think in that order as well. Yeah, no, like, Verts, Gundo, Musiala. Yeah, Cruz. I, th I don't think he would be in my top three for Germany. Yeah, assets. I'm with you. And then you got Havertz, right? So like, although he's a he's forward. a forward. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm sorry, Cal. I like you, but I don't like your team. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, do you know what? The I love Kevin De Bruyne. Yes, but yeah, just recently. He looks like he's lost it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he's, lo he's lost a little bit of turn of pace. He looks a bit upset. 
he, you notice how he's he, a bit upset the now comments it's... of him about you know i know i'm getting older and i might yeah. have to move for money and he to take these opportunities it's like it's a risky pick but take, it, yeah it is it could really slap as a decision though because you don't yeah. know what you get you know what my problem with kdb is you don't know what you're gonna get nah and that is a risky asset in my opinion yeah i, I don't know it like I hope he's still there yeah. for this tournament yeah. because he can light it up. Last dance. <laughs> Last dance, yeah. But I'm just I'm not convinced. Like if he did come into this tournament off the back of like seven or eight amazing performances for Man City, yeah. put in his shifts. Yeah. It's probably because he hurt me, to be honest, in the FPL. Yeah. Like he was the one that the decision I got the big decision I got wrong was between him and Foden for a double game week. I oh really? Him, and then Foden got a hat trick. And it was oh like, man. Um so maybe there's a little bit of that, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not 100 convinced. Um, I like the goalie pick. Like, I think that's a, if you're going to go budget goalie, 4.5 yeah. for for a starting Ukraine goalie who's you know Real Madrid quality, then yeah, I don't mind that. But would you go for him over like a Pickford or a Neuer or do you know what I mean? Like, well, if I'm losing the but if I'm saving a mil mm. and that mil gets me someone unreal, then yeah, because I'm not really too bothered about. It. I don't think it's going to be that many clean sheets, is there? I think you can probably. The, you know, clip this, right? Clip this. Get ready, Jimmy. You ready, Jimmy? Mm. England will at least get two clean sheets in the group stages. I'm going to call that now, mm. right? So I think you're just a better bet going for like English mm. defensive assets. All right. They're the Arsenal of this of this uh, of this tournament. Okay. Clip it. Okay. <laughs> England did have a really good defensive record throughout qualification. Yeah. But then look who we were playing in qualification. Right. And so. then we would lose to Iceland one 0 at yeah. home at Wembley. Yeah. You're not going to let that go, are you? No, I'm not. I'm so <laughs> upset about it. I um, can't believe I just... You know what? I said to my wife, I was watching it. I was like, why am I watching this? Like, mm. what am I doing? Friendlies. Yeah. England friendlies. I'm not going to watch them anymore. You know what? Yeah. I say it every time yeah. I end up watching them. But You're like a crack addict. You just yeah. can't say no. Can't say no yeah. to England. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slate this as well, bro. Sorry, Cal. I think this needs some work. Rude boy. Bring in Sudakov. Right. Niall Plume. Shout out Niall. He's gone with Lunin in goal. Got Lunin again. Jonathan Tarr, who I've got. Mittelstadt, that's three out of three. DeMarco, three out of three. Van Dyke. Great template. And Van love Dyke, it. we like. Trossard. Oh, love that. Gundogan yeah, on the captain. Sobers, Lai, Rodri, Kane. I love Kane, this team. Griezmann. I love this team. And then he's got Costa. Oh, Lukaku, Bruno, and Faz. I mean, this is probably my favorite team yeah, so far. Yeah, I agree. That's my favorite team that I've seen for a while. I might Naughty. Take, I might just take a picture of that. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> play it your own way, Alf. Nile, play it your own Nile way. Nile one in the game, <laughs> Alf two. <laughs> yeah, he's strong all over the park here. Would yeah, you, would you agree? It. Straight up. That's a straight up rate. That's a rate. There's nothing. There's not really much to say on that. I think that we. All, that is a. You know what, Griezmann, I think is a really good shout. He's not that expensive either. Mm. He's under the radar at the moment. He is. Yeah. And it gets you a it gets you a, fr a nailed France forward. France forward. He can yeah. play anywhere across the line, really. I think the only di like the the thing with Griezmann, I think he does get subbed off quite a lot. Like he's does he? I might be wrong, but I feel like he's the sort of player who will get sacrificed if they're gonna yeah make changes. Do we know what that France forward looks like? Is it so Mbappe, Mbappe on the left, Mbappe and Giroud? Yeah, so Giroud up front. Like, they've they've then, played different types, haven't they? Mbappe, Giroud up top. Yeah. And then Griezmann is like a number 10. Number 10, yeah. Or he'll play like a number 8. Right. In like a 4-3-3 three, three will be Mbappe, Giroud, and then Usman Dembele on the right. Demb Dembele. So Griezmann, but he is nailed. He's going to start every game, right? Yeah, Griezmann gets subbed early, says Roberto. That's, that's the only problem with him. How, how much is Griezmann? Just I think he's if, like 7.5 or 8. Because <clears throat> if he doesn't have Griezmann, he's got no France. So it is a bit of a yeah, gamble. I'm just wondering if he might be better off with Giroud. Colm said no Mbappe, question mark. I mean, fair play. He's like, playing it his own way. Like, he's got strength everywhere else. Like He's got Lukaku there. He's got Bruno. Like, the midfield stack. Can't lie. I'm going to try and figure out how much Griezmann is. Nine mil for Griezmann. Oh, nine mil, is it? It's expensive. Is it, yeah, he's pricey. How much is Mbappe? Mbappe. Is he like 11.5? 11, 11. 11. 11? Yeah. Can you find two mil somewhere? I mean, Van Dijk's going to be expensive, but is Van Dijk essential at this point? He's also got double Germany defence, which could be really, really good. Yeah. Or really, really... It could have been a really, really good or a really, really shit. Really shizer. Yeah, shizer. Um, <laughs> let me ask you this. Scheiser. Let me ask you this. Yeah. We're on Van Dijk, if, we, if you think about Trent as an essential defender, mm. where does Van Dijk rank for you in that sense? 
it's below Trent. Number two. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I want Van Dijk and Trent. <laughs> yeah, that's exciting, isn't it? Van Dijk, Trent, and maybe like a Demarco. Yeah, that's good, something. isn't it? All right. Uh, yeah, nice team, Niall. I'm gonna I'm gonna rate that. Like that team. J Money in the house says, do your, do your worst. worst. He's inviting. I hate yeah. It. I hate it. Moving on. <laughs> I hate nah, it. We'll go back. We'll look at it. All right. He's got Verbruggen in goal. Bar. 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 Gay. Schlotterback. Oh, Gay. DeMarco at the back. Trossard, Bellingham, Gundogan, and Jorginho in midfield. Kane and Havertz up top. And then Marmaduke, Faz, Bruno, and Mbappe on the bench. I think Jay Money's me. trying to be a little bit clever here, isn't he? Reckon. Yeah. What, what do you? I mean, I think he's trying to be. A little, he's thought about this a lot, isn't he? And I like. I, I like it, but at the same time, it's just sort of. It's just. It's. It's a bit smart. Do you know what I mean? Like he's probably really happy with his picks. Yeah. And, and he's and he's thought about it a few times. And I'm just thinking to myself, listen, Jay Money. Perhaps you've <laughs> overthought this. <laughs> listen, Jay Money. Jay Money. Jay Money got the peas, rude boy. Um, right. I've never. I've not heard of Bar. Yeah. So, are we missing something? Is he a gem? I don't, we don't know, know about. I don't know Bar. And what team is that? Is that what team is that, bro? Who does Bar play yeah, for? Yeah, we got some questions. The only about Bar I know is Demba. We got a and couple of questions him. about Bar at this point. We have got some questions. Gahey. I got some questions about Gahey. You know Gahey. what I mean? Is he four four five? If he's, I think he's, he's nailed. Gonna... He's nailed. That could be quite an astute pick. If you're looking for England defender, we do we know Gahey's nailed? I reckon he starts. Yeah. I reckon that team that was at Iceland is a, is as close to the starting lineup that we're going to see. Gay he starts. Bar Bellingham. Yeah. Bar Bellingham. I think Bar. Gay. Yeah, Bar Bellingham. No pun intended. Um, Schlotterbach. Schlotterbach, I don't think he starts for Germany. Mm. I don't think he does. I think it's Tarn Rudiger, centre-halves. And then Mittelstadt. Mittelstadt left. And then, is it Kimi? Joshua Kimmich, Kimmich yeah, playing he's right got back. A, he's got to start, yeah. I don't think Schlotterback's in the starting lineup. So, so you've got to think that. Mm, DeMarco. I yes. would have a think about Bar, Gahey, and Schlotterback at this point in this mm. team. DeMarco like, is, is I think he's he's going to be a good pick. Yeah, but you like the rest. Everyone's got DeMarco, though. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Is he, is, do we know enough about DeMarco for everyone to be <coughs> picking him? Uh, he's had a really good season, by all accounts, apparently. Yeah. And he's on he's a defender that's on set pieces, and he's a, he's a, he's he's a wing back. He's not too expensive. Either, no. Yeah. Like, he's displaced. Remember Spinazzola? Yeah. Great how, for the World how Cup. How awesome he, he was. He was awesome, yeah. So I think he's kind of taken his place, so... Yeah, apparently he's good. So what do you reckon? This is a slate, yeah? I think I'm slate. Stick with it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you, bruv. Sorry, Jay Money. You go spend some of your time on fixing this team. That's what yeah. I say. Sp stop spending so much time making money, Jay Money, <laughs> and spend some time on your <laughs> fancy Euros team for uh, crying out loud. FPL, mate, too late to send my team. Yes, mate, it was, it was a Twitter. We did a Twitter post earlier. Or X, whoever's calling it X, I don't know. Um, Can we make it work, Dan? I mean, he'll probably come in some point and show us his team, so. <laughs> um, Joel Clark, 98. He says he's winning the lot with this team. He's gone with Pickford in goal. He's got Teo Hernandez, Mittelstadt, DeMarco, and Cher at the back. Bellingham, Wurtz, Javi Simmons, Rodri, and Gula midfield, and Havertz up top. Yeah, and then Moldovan, this. Van Dijk, Kane, and Mbappe on the bench. <sighs> what are you saying? I like this a lot. I like what it do you like about this team? You know what? It's sort of like um, it's it's sort of like watching a David Fincher film, like like looking at this team. I had no idea. I was not expecting Van Dyke, Kane, and Mbappe to just show up at the end <laughs> like that. Do you know what I mean? It's such a flex. I was yeah. thinking to myself, I like this team already, the first team, yeah. and then those three on the bench. Like, mm. yeah, I like this a lot. There's a, there's a distinct lack of no Belgium. Of Belgium here. Yeah, that's true. Um, I like Gula. Um, yeah, I you do pronounce? too. Is that how you say oh, the Gula, yeah. Gula, Gula. Uh, I think yeah, he's he's gonna. He, I think he's gonna be a really good player for this tournament. Um, that I don't. I can't really see much wrong with this. No Portugal. No Portugal. No Belgium. Yeah. But like, I also just like it. I mean, who would you take out? Javi yeah, Simmons, mean, maybe. Is he Simmons? Is he nailed? Yeah, I, don't I know. think he's a cheap punt, and I suppose you've got like. He's got the big hitters to come off the bench. Do you know what I mean? Like Simmons and... If he doesn't play... Gula, just, let's yeah. say, will come off for Mbappe and Kane. Then it becomes quite a template team. Yeah. Um, 
and then Van Dyke for I like the share pick. I like the share pick because yeah, he likes a pot shot, yeah, doesn't he? And he does. takes the odd free kick. What a player. Um, sent my team across on X just now. Well, that works. We, we did the post yesterday for, for teams, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, maybe we'll do a little rate or slate. I oh, know we can't, can we? The tournament starts on Friday. I've got the slate You've got some? I've got both of the people You've got them? When you get to the end, yeah, yeah. All right, good lad. Cheers, James. Have you got Dan, James? Yeah. Awesome. Nice. Um, Gareth Geddy. Shout out Geddy on the live. This is his team. Verbruggen in goal. Marla. Trent. Trent. Mittelstadt and DeMarco. Wurtz, Soboslai, Bruno, Lukaku, Kane, Bappe. And then he's got Costa, Jorginho, Faz and Eriksen on There's the There's not much wrong here, is there? It's very template. I like it though. I think, I think uh, Geddy's going to do well. Like this looks pretty good to me. I mean, I say very template. Like Soboslai, we've not seen in many teams. Yeah, that's but true. It's the second time we've seen him out of the six or seven teams we looked at. And he's the, it's the first team with Trent. What is concerning is, is everyone's gone with Mittelstadt and DeMarco. DeMarco. I might I might get off them. I think lots of people are going to get Trent in. Yeah, oh, yeah. We'll see that. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Um, so you rating this one? 100%. Gareth, legend. I like it. I'm going to rate it. Everyone's, look, it's a wild card two. Just go back a sec, sorry. Just one. Mm -hmm. Everyone's going to do that. Wild card Bang. two, limitless three. Wild card two, limitless three. What are you going to do? What do you think? Uh, Limitless two, wildcard three. Nice. Here's the plan. Uh, Colm, shout out Colm. Colm. Number one juice watcher. He's gone What with... does that mean? Well, talk, talk me through that exactly. So we held a, an award ceremony. Oh yeah, you I were was here. here. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. This award. You, this yeah, this one. Yeah. He literally won one of these for being the best, the best uh, person in the, in the no juice problems. live chat. This is Colm's. Why, the question I've got is why Colm hasn't picked this up. Why is it still here? Yeah. Come, I'm holding your award. Mm. I checked um, in with our admin department. Yeah. yeah. They will be dispatched before mm. the end of the 26-27. Oh, okay. Are you, are you, you're sending them, are you? Maybe. Don't you think people should just pick them up? They probably should. Just come out near, close to Luton. Have Cole, a just, day out. Yeah, spin by. We'll get you on the show. You know what I mean? Just, yeah. We'll just do a special. We'll do a Colm Boogler special. Ash will take you out in Luton. No. For a Pret. I'm not responsible for bringing you back. Does Luton have Pret? Pret? Yeah. Has a lot of prats. <laughs> not sure about prat. <laughs> I think there might be one. Probably in the airport. <laughs> the airport. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Colm, this, this is looking good, by the way. Your name's on it real nice. They used a really good font. Um, so. I live in Ireland. What font is that? He lives in Ireland. <laughs> oh, right. What Cat, font? not prat. <laughs> <laughs> Cat, not prat. Uh, James, what font is this? Uh, it is the book trophy engraving. <laughs> mm. Superb. Nice. Excellent. So here's uh, Colm's team. He's got Pickford in goal, Theo Hernandez, Tar, Mittelstadt, Di Lorenzo, and DeMarco in defence. Gundogan, Soboslai, Rodri midfield, Lukaku and Mbappe up front. Lunan, Ronaldo, Bruno, and Hakan Chalanoglu yeah, on the an, bench. Uh, I like this team. I like this team. The, the, thing, the thing that I would say is, actually, wait a second. I'm going to take that back. I don't like this team. And the reason for that it's because you've doubled up on Italy and Germany defense, and mm. I would never, ever do that. Um, gen generally, in a fantasy game like this, I would never do it because it's just a bit too risky. Maybe for one team, mm. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like but a Germany. I wouldn't do it for two. Not for Italy. Yeah, not for Italy. No. I'd do it for England. What are your thoughts on that? It's a yeah, bit... Yeah, I mean, it's, you put a lot of eggs in a lot in, in very few baskets, yeah. aren't you, with that? But I, the bets. argument is they are two very attacking wingbacks. Mm. So they're probably in the team more for their attacking prowess rather, and then like the bonus of having a clean sheet rather than say a Jonathan Tarr who is only going to get clean sheets for Germany if they do keep, because he isn't, unless he gets that, you know, naughty header from a corner. Yeah. He's probably not going to pose as much as a threat as a, say a Di Lorenzo or DeMarco. Right. So I, I like the strategy to be fair. Yeah. But I, I'm not, I'm not against it. I don't mind that because this are one of those ones say, where- Are you just it, saying that because it's calm? No, no, no. I'm saying it because <laughs> that's what I believe. Like, I genuinely, like, if Italy have two good results in a row and yeah. they both get a couple of assists, like, they get assist each in the first two games. Yeah, yeah, plus yeah. Plus two, like, that's, that's huge. Yeah. I, but I then just, if they concede, it's, yeah, you know, that's it's, the thing. it's either really up here or really down there. I would probably just, like, I wouldn't double up on two of them. And also, like, there's no, just from my perspective, there's no England assets here. There is no England. There's no England. He is Irish. Do you know what I do? Yeah, Colm, that's cool. Colm, I... If I were you, I'd try and get Trent in for one of those, either German or 
mm. Italian defenders. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I do, yeah, I don't mind that. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. You could do it as well. Like I think Di Lorenzo. How much is Di Lorenzo? Is he about five, five, five? Yeah, five, sounds five. about right. Yeah. Um, Chalanoglu is a good pick, I think, for for Turkey. Okay, he's I on, don't know much about him. Uh, it, he's a. I think he plays in Italy. I think he was at. I think he is at Inter, but he was at AC. It might be gone the other way around. But he's on a lot of set pieces. Okay. Yeah, he's I mean the bench, Bruno is, type the bench is strong, isn't it? Uh, Scotty D says Shaw is training okay. I think he might. He might even make it for the first game. Right, Wade Wilson. I mean, from what I've seen, everyone's team is virtually identical apart from the midfield slots. The teams we've seen, they have mainly been quite different. Yeah, that's right. It's I've not think. been. There's super... been a couple of players that have been in there, almost every team. Yeah, but there's been a decent mix. So like we saw like, like Griezmann. We saw like Hula. Right? Yeah. I think it's the like in the midfield is where there's been the most change. Yeah. Um, for Bruggen in goal, Tar, Mittelstadt, Demarco, who's been in every team, Eriksson, Gundogan, Sobosla, and Rodri, and Mbappe, Kane, Lukaku up top, Costa, Faz, Teo Hernandez, and Bruno. Yeah, there there isn't a player here who we haven't seen. Yeah. So far. My bench. I'm not. I'm not. I'm you're not you're still my, on I'm your still bench. Isn't that? Like every time, every <laughs> team I'm seeing, it's like everyone's thought about their bench. I'm yeah. Um, yeah. This is a nice team, isn't it? Apart from Eriksson. For me. Yeah, I agree. I don't think Ericsson warrants a start. No. Or like a pick at this point. No. Like, they're not going to do that well, I don't think. And also, he's not had the best season. So, mm. I don't know. It's just one of those. It could go either way. But I just think it's too it's too punty for me. Yeah. There's no... Um, oh, no, there is Portugal here. No. And there is Belgium. He's got good. He's got good, good cover good from, spread, from... Yeah, yeah, yeah. From a lot of the teams here. I'm going to give it a rate. Yeah, I'll give it a rate. There's, um, just think about the Germany double up in defence. Ericsson's a placeholder, he says. Obviously for Bruno when he comes on. But how much is Ericsson? Surely you could go for someone a bit little, little like more punty than Ericsson. I bet he's like 7.5. I, like, I reckon he's like 8, 8.5. 8, 5, he's, that he's, seems expensive. That's does, doesn't it? He's, yeah. he's Mr. Denmark, isn't he? How much is Ericsson, Wade? I'm finding him. He had a great season for Inter Milan. Is that Chalanoglu? 7 Nogu? mil, Ericsson. 7? Yeah. Mm, okay, you're probably not going to get much better than... Been selected four percent, so a massive differential. Could go for Sudakov. Sudakov. Yeah. You know you're bringing in Sudakov. Okay. <laughs> if Sudakov's TSB goes up, yeah, it's all down to me. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It won't. We yeah. don't get enough viewers, but yeah. Um, here we go. Almost spring onions. This is FPL onions. Shout out you on the chat. He's gone with Sommer in goal. Faz, Sommer's Say Hernandez, Demarco, and Dumfries. He's got Bellingham, Foden, Jorginho, and Serin is that. Mm. And then Kane and Havertz up top. Costa, Mbappe, Cancelo, and Vitinha on the bench. It's the England, very England fan. <laughs> Clearly. 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 I love it. Yeah, love he's it. got the holy trinity of England players. Yeah. Um, he? he's, got, he's, he's lumping on, on the three lines here. Okay, so a couple of things from my perspective would mm. be... I'm not sure about Saren. I don't know enough about him. Oh, so I, in that, with that being said, I just like stay away from an asset like that. But you might know more than me about him, so fair enough. Dumfries, we mm. spoke about. I'd stay away from because I don't think. I think that he might be, probably getting a half or like, sixty minutes here and there. Um, yeah. But no, I mean I like it. It's it, you are missing. What are you missing? You're missing French. You got Tio. Oh, he's got, oh, got, got Mbappe. Mbappe and Tio. Mbappe, yeah, fair enough. No, I take that yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. I take that back. Um, he's got Portugal. He's we, got England. He's got some Italy. He's got Germany. We're missing some Belgium, maybe. He's got. Uh, oh yeah, Faz. yeah, sorry, yeah, no, no, oh, yeah, Faz. He's got Faz, Faz is that how we saying it? Faz? Vad, Vad Faz, yeah. Yeah, so, so maybe like like Belgium attacking mm. or midfielder, I'd yeah. say. So like, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I like it. It's different. It's different. Dumb, dumb freeze could be one of them ones. Like, he's. He's been the starter at many a tournament for Netherlands, and yeah. he's been a real yeah, fan favourite, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. So I, I, it'd be disappointing to see him lose his starting spot, but I guess yeah. it's like... Frimpong's had an awesome season, yeah. I get it, but if he does start, he's a proper weapon. Yeah. I think he got... Did he get a goal or an assist the other night? Is that right? We, I think he did. Against, against Iceland? Yeah. In that 4-0? Was, yeah. was it that game? I know, I know he got on. Uh, I know he got some, some sort of attacking return. Serin, I don't know much about. Yeah, same. What team is that? Yeah, I'm very confused. What team about. is Serin? Serin. A Serin. Who, five mil? Don't know. Maybe it's just like a cheap enabler because obviously he's got Cancelo and Mbappe to come off the bench. Georgia. Georgia, is it? Is that Georgia? Yeah, I'd stay away from that. Right. Um, 
like he's already got George. I was going to recommend Jorginho at five million, but he's already got Jorginho. Um, so maybe someone, I don't know, maybe someone else there. But other than that, I like it. Rate from me. Alf gives it a slay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then that was it for the ones from Twitter. But James, have you got a couple more? Yeah, you've got to guess which one is mates. I've got to guess, we've got to guess which one is mates. He got a few gold contributions during qualifying. Is that Dumfries, yeah? We're we talking about? I think it's Dumfries. Um, that team was Slovenia, apparently. Not Georgia, James. You got a chat and shut. Looks fine for a five mil, but definitely an enabler. I just, uh, yeah, is your mic on? Put your mic on, sausage. First of all, mm. you can assume now my yeah. mic is always on. Really? And I can even pop up here. Yeah, boom. I'm a bad boy. That's about four seasons too late, but yeah. Continue. Guys, just before we do this, mm. I'm three I'm three subscribers away from 200. Are you? Yeah. Right. Get three him. Away from get 200. him. Get him. Once we get through... Can someone? Can, once, once we do these last two, we're gonna get you there. Yeah, nice. Hundy. We're not gonna go off air until we do it. So, <laughs> you have to guess. This is such an exciting game. Yeah, I can't. You wait. have to guess which one is mate. Yeah. Okay. And which one is the other fella? I've forgotten who sent it in. <laughs> Was it Sachin that sent N the other FPL one? FPL goal. Huh? FPL goal. Yeah, Sachin. All right. Yeah. So. Go on then. First up. Yeah. Okay. The Bruggen, Moldovan, Trent, Theo Hernandez, Mittelstadt, DeMarco, Van Dijk, Gundogan, Soboslai, Rodri, Jorginho, Bruno Fernandez. That's mate. 100%. I think that's mate, yeah. Oh, yeah, well it's good, isn't it? Second 100%. team is this one. Pickford. Yeah, bruh. Handy. That. <laughs> yeah, first one's I'd mate. Put, I would put <laughs> what little money I have, all of it, on that first team being FPL mates team. You're guessing that team number one. Yeah. Is FPL mate hundred percent? Out of curiosity, yeah. How much would you be interested? How much? How much have I got to put to bet on this? How much would you bet? Minus sixty-two grand. <laughs> so this is definitely not mate, right? Right. Okay. Wait. Let me see this team. Oh Ooh, shit. shit! I didn't see the bench. Fuck. Right. Pickford, De Kuiper, Mitchell. Oh! No way. Oh! Sixty-two grand. I didn't see the bench. Are you donating that? Or like, where does that money no, go? No, I said James? minus 62. Oh, minus 62. <laughs> so he owes me. Yeah. How many rate or slope this team? <laughs> uh, I didn't look at the bench. I just saw the start, starting lineup. I didn't see you had Mbappe and Bruno on the bench. Uh, I still like the first team though. Go back to the first one. I really like that team. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? There's not really much wrong with that. It's got like a mix of every team. Every good team. That's a really nice team. Yeah. Is that the best team we've seen tonight? This one? Yeah. This, yeah, I like this one a lot. With Bruno, Gundogan, Soboslai. Like, you've got five midfielders there, all very, very capable of scoring points. The strikers, obviously, we, we talked about them in great length already, but the defence, they've got Trent, Van Dijk, and then you've got a toss up between DeMarco and Tegan. That yeah. has a quality side. Let me just take a I picture. I really like that Let's team. Take a little picture Let that me one. see Mate's team. Let me see mate's team again. All right, so he's got the same forward three. So midfield wise, the same. He's got Saka, Shakiri, Shakiri. Shakiri turns up to be yeah, fair. Yeah, he's a great shout. Yeah. Turns Shaqiri, up for Switzerland. Shakiri, 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 <laughs> and uh, De Kuiper. I don't know much about De Kuiper. De Kuiper. De Kuiper. Is, is he the one they just bought in? I swear they just brought him into the squad. Like, is he oh, left is back? Right? Okay. I think he's a left. He does back, sound man. sort of similar to. De Bruyne. So De Bru got yeah, he's like, is he like De Bruyne's good. cousin? Yeah. De Kuiper and De Bruyne. Yeah. And Wid Widmer as well is a bit of an unknown entity. Widmer. It's his stepbrother and his mum's name's <laughs> Duh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, out of the two teams, sorry, Dan, I think I prefer the first one. Mittelstadt is captain as well, Dan. I love, I mean, I love Yeah, that. but that's obviously because it's the first game, isn't it? Like Germany, right. it'll move off that pretty quickly, I think. Right, right, right. Right. But that makes sense, yeah. Yeah. There's no like you might as well yeah. captain him. You might score at trick and then you're not going to move. Not away. that I'm a stippler for accuracy, but we are keeping it very simple where you just have to rate it. Or... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, I rate both of these ah. teams. I, I yeah, rate I'm going to rate. Teams. Yeah, 
I think who's the, is, the, who's other is one the other one. Who's is the other one? Is Sachin, I think. Oh, who's Sachin, FPL? Okay. What is his name? FPL goal. FPL goal. I think that's probably my favourite team tonight. Uh, no cap. I would rather captain Mittelstadt than any other Germany player. Mad ting. Fair enough. All right. There we go. There's a little rate or slate for you all. And uh, that brings us to the end of the show. That was two hours 15. That went by like... It did. That. What a pleasure. Didn't it, my friend? Yeah, lovely. Um, before we go, guys, I need you really, I need you to really help me out. Help my guy Alf out. I want him to get to 200 subscribers on his YouTube channel. I've got three to go. Before the show has finished. Honestly, he does some of the most original FPL content. Us aside. That <laughs> is out there. Thank he you. He talks to members of the public, which let me tell you, is no easy thing to do. Not only is he entertaining, but he puts in a lot of hard work. I can tell you that much. And um, I'm delighted that he's been able to come and join me tonight. Uh, yes. But, um, yeah, so yeah he, did, he did talk about it, but how you doing? keep going. Do you yeah, so. Play FPL? FPL, FPL mates just subscribed. Oh, this. FPL Would mates just subscribe to my to? channel. That's unreal. Um, thank you, Dan. Uh, yeah, so what I do is I go out onto the streets of London mostly and I ask strangers if they play FPL. I've got a little sign made. Um, I've got a mic. Um, and uh, it just leads to either really good interactions about FPL, which is the main point of it, um, or just some very funny conversations with people who have no idea what FPL is. Mm. Um, and then I ask them a random question, like, for example, um, what do you think Sting's up to? Mm. Which just throws people completely uh, off piste. They've got no idea what's going on. Um, I tell them, thank you for their time, and I walk on and find the next person. Wait, did we get to 200? Yeah, 200. Thank Bosh. Unreal, thank you guys. And by the way, I'm going to throw some sort of party when I get to 1,000. So we'll, we'll figure that out with you guys. Yeah. yeah. We'll probably end up hosting it. Can we do it in here? Probably. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, we'll just say, I'll just say, yeah. Yeah. We'll talk about it with James later. Um, that's happening. Yeah, so that's happening. Let's do it. Well, thank you everyone for who subscribed. That's really kind of you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And just because you got to 200 doesn't mean you can, you have to stop there. Honestly, really good content, amazing stuff. Go and drop him a follow and, uh, and check out, literally watch his content and you won't be disappointed. Um, thanks to everyone who's joined us tonight. Big thanks to Alf. Once Thank again you. for coming in, my friend. And of course, you guys at home. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Before you go, you know what I'm going to ask. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, give us a follow on all the socials. It's at FPO underscore juice on X, Instagram, and TikTok. Um, join us next week. 6 p.m. UK time. Where Nick may or may not be back. He's currently awaiting a date on his plea hearing for tax evasion. <laughs> We are set to continue with the Decade Dilemmas, uh, where next week is the one I've been waiting for. It's the 90s, 90s. baby. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be good, that. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Hope you have a good evening. We'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Peace out. Felicia.